hope everyone's having a good day. Sorry, I know I said I was going to probably stream Monday or something, but I ended up doing overtime the day before and I was exhausted. And then I also got my RAM. My RAM came in. So now I have upgraded from 15, not 15, 16 gigs to 32 gigs, which is really awesome. And I also um, got a second monitor, so now I can actually keep an eye on chat better while I'm playing games. Which is a lot of fun, very exciting. Moving up in the world, um, at the detriment of my own wallet, but it's okay. Um, so today we're going to be playing a few indie games. I do want to at least get through two, we'll see if we'll do a third, because I still need to get dinner. And I can't stream forever today, because I have work tomorrow. Um, but I will be streaming tomorrow for sure. Me and Ember are going to be going back into Grounded, or we might be starting for the forest. I'm gonna have to talk with her about it and figure it out for sure. But either way, look forward to that as we continue on. Now let me just double check things, see how we're doing. All right, we're looking good. I'm gonna get the game set up. We're starting with Gloom Grave which looks really fun. So let's get into this. Right, come on game, come on game. There we go, good game. All right, let me pause this music. There we go. Huh. Um. I, sorry if the audio is off, if like the game is too quiet or something, I am, wor I'm uh, working with new settings at the moment to try and make my games sound like a lot better. Um, cause somebody commented on one of my videos saying my mic was quiet and I already knew that. But um, I was trying to figure out how to handle it. And I think I found a good solution. So uh, thanks to them, because they actually like pushed me to actually f figure out what to do. Anyway, let's play. Gloom Grave Rogue Knight. Oh, can I use my controller for this? No. Okay. Knight Ranger Warrior Hunter Rogue. Okay, it looks like the only one we can do right now is Rogue. Okay, W S to move. Q or E to turn. Ooh. Use. A and D to strafe. Hold left mouse to free look. Oh. Hold left. Which way is left? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's dizzying. Alright. Hit it again. How did I do that? I don't know how I did that. Ooh. Alright. Turn. Click left mouse to interact. Ooh. What'd we get? Unidentified. It's a colorful liquid, and it is infused with magical properties. Okay. Cheese. Just make sure it isn't moldy. Unidentified. Okay, we've got two unidentified. We're completely full. We've got on a cloak. It, gets, it tends to get t cold inside ancient dungeons. And we've also got a dagger. Zero dagger. Melee weapon. This weapon deals 2 to 6 damage, requires 2 strength to use effectively. 4 strength to use effectively. The weapon of choice for gloom crawlers that value strength. Or stealth over strength. Got it. I am quite stealthy. You spin me right around, baby, right around. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Dodged. Hello. Oh, I, I can miss too. I didn't realize that. Alright, well, they're dead now. What is this? Ooh. Break it. Okay. Let's see if there's anything over here. No, nothing. Alright. Um, let's check our inventory. Oh, that's a map. We got a wooden arrow used as ammo for bow-type weapons. No, I didn't mean to drop that. I'll pick it up in a second. Alright, 11 out of 20. Can I use this? Okay, good. Alright, pick that back up. Oh, who are you? Choose a blessing. The fighter increased strength. The thief increased agility. The marksman increased accuracy. Hmm. Let's go with accuracy. Just to be safe. Oh, God. Did I just die? The eternal darkness consumes you. What hit me? 
Oh, well, that's not good. Slain by poison. I only survived a minute. I really need to look around before I... I'm not going to share that. I'm already streaming it. My shame is already public. Let's try that again. We've got it this time. Oh, okay. It saved me back here. Or is this a new room? Oh, it must know that I uh, already did the tutorial. Alright then. Ooh, armor. Hey, fuck you. Oh, we're both missing each other. Ow! Alright, this time take a look around. Is that poison? Is that what poisoned me? Okay, wait. There's two doors. This one's got some stuff. Did I pick up the coin? I did not. Alright, there's another door in here. Let's see what's over here. Wait, wait for- Oh! Boink! Boink! Where'd the other enemy go? There was another guy. He's down in the trap door, is he? Alright, I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. I still don't know how I got poisoned. I'm still rather con confused about how that happened. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, this is a new life. Oh, hello. You look... Uh, huh. Ow. Oh, no! Maybe I shouldn't rush into every fight that I see. That might be a good idea. Mini slime. Oh. Time 132. Huh, <laughs> right around the same time as before. All right, let's try that again. Okay, nothing for me. Hmm. I don't like, oh, I see you. Oh, okay, so they're very fragile. Probably because they're the marksmen's. We've got a treasure chest, too. Ooh, can I put that on? A helmet. Can absorb up to two points of damage. Oh, so I didn't put on that armor I grabbed before, did I? I'll live and learn. There's a bat. Dodge! Hmm... Oh, okay. New floor. I didn't mean to do that, but I guess... Or did it bring me back to where I started? I think it brought me back to where I started. Oh, I see more armor. I just need to survive you. Oh, we're both bad at this, aren't we? There we go. Oh, there's another door. Alright, yeah. Building up armor is probably the best bet. Alright. Alright. As effective as it is heavy, okay, so my agility is slower, but I'm I'm not the best at surviving, so okay, this is another room with No! Why did I do that? I should have eaten the cheese. I bet. Sounds like a knockoff iPhone. Alright, let's keep trying. I'm not the best, but it's okay. Oh, hello. I wonder, can I strafe during a fight? Well, definitely not when I'm in a doorway like that. Bonk. Nothing? Okay. Hello. Oh, hi. There's two of you, I see. Oh, we're both so bad at this. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. That was a painful fight. Alright, let's go with increased strength. And... 
Th what happened? Do those things poison me? Is it a trick? Slain by poison? It's the same thing again. Is it poison? I think I'm being bamboozled. Hmm. Alright, this time don't touch any, like, fancy looking- ooh. Oh, a key. And an axe. One second, slime boy. Ooh. Two-handed weapon. How does this work? Let's find out. Ow. Okay. Neither of us are particularly strong fighters, it seems. But it's fine. We're learning. One day they will bow to us both. Well, only me now, because you're dead. Oh, there is a slime in here. You don't mind if I grab this real quick, do you? Hello. What is this? Ring of accuracy? Heck yeah. Also, I should eat this cheese. There we go. Alright, come here. Ring of accuracy and I immediately am not, work not doing it right. No, come on. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna die. Okay. How do you heal? Okay. I gained one health back. Should I just wait it out? Ooh. What is that? An apple! Crisp and nutritious. Ooh. I'm gonna drink this. I think that didn't do much, but it's okay. Ooh, my health is up. Let's use it. Got him. Oh, I see you, I bat. Oh, you're stuck. Bye. Oh, never mind, you're not stuck. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? Yeah. Never mind. Oh, but you're gonna kill me. Do you mind if I just sit here for a second and see if my health gets back? Or what's this? Oh, that's the turn thing. <laughs> well, I'd say that's the farthest we've made it in a while. It's not, not the best, but yeah, 149 is a better time than we got before. All right. A little bit of luck goes a long way. Increased chance to find valuables. Okay, I see. What about you guys? Slay 300 monsters. Reach the ancient sewers at any class. Reach the forgotten temple as a knight. Reach, recover the Sword of Luna. Okay, I don't know what the Sword of Luna is. But I should probably just stop trying to kill things. And go for the exit. Oh, whoa, this is different. Cheese! Oh. Never mind, I don't want to go in there. Oh, you're coming for me. I saw that. Hello. I can take you. Gotcha. I'm just kind of opening all these doors to see what I can find. Is there anything over here? Oh, there's an orange. I'll take that. I wonder if these rooms are getting easier because I'm dying all the time or if this is just me getting extremely lucky. Dead. Okay, there's another. Is that an archer? Oh yeah, it definitely is. Alright, let me put on the- wait, hang on. Let me put on the boots. Can absorb one point of damage, tread lightly. Okay, that's good enough. It's better than what we got. Boom! Boom! Thank goodness those archers are weak. I mean, so am I, but that's not the point. What is that? Oh, okay. I thought it was like a enemy or something. I'm like, I have not seen that type of enemy before. Speaking of enemies. Hello. Got him. What a 
did these hatches even do? I don't know. Oh no! Okay, no! It was the hatches that were poisoning me. Okay, so don't trust the hatches either, I guess. Slain by poison. Damn it. Depth reached one. Okay, I don't understand those though. I wonder what causes them to, to kill me like that. I wonder if it's just like... Ow. Hi there, I'm Face. how you doing? I am currently dying a slow and painful death. Chunky graphics, oh yeah. <gasps> Big sword. Oh, hello there. Okay, you guys are stronger than I took you for. Oh man, I don't have all my food this time. I'm great? Good, I'm glad. Uh, let's not use the cheese just yet, but we will equip the weapon. Require seven strength? I don't have seven strength, do I? Okay, we won't touch the long sword. We won't mess with that. It's better to not, I say. But we will eat the cheese. No. We'll use that, and we'll use the cheese. What? Poison me. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I'm alive. Oh man. You know, I don't even think it's that I'm a particularly bad fighter in this game. I think I just keep getting poisoned. No! The eternal darkness consumes you once more. No! I wouldn't have died if I hadn't gotten poisoned again. Why does that keep happening? Uh oh. Okay. Is everything alright? I think the stream glitched out for a second. Ugh. We'll keep trying. I'm not particularly good at strategy games, mainly because my strategy is usually attack first, act, ask questions later. Don't really think about stuff until after it's happened. Oh, there's an eye bat. Pardon me, bat. Stream hiccup? All good. Okay, good. I think it might be because I let someone... I live in, like, a studio apartment complex, and I offered one of my co-workers... Not co-workers, what am I saying? One of my, like, other people here to uh, use my Wi-Fi while they get their own, but I don't know if that's... Oh, man. I just died again. Spike trap. No! Why? Man, I'm really bad at this game. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We gotta keep going, though. One of these days we'll survive. Ooh, a shield! Kite shield. Requires eight strength! Ah, oh, I can't use that. What the? Oh, it's a box. With nothing in it. Hello. Oh, we're both bad at this, aren't we? You're gonna kill me! <laughs> Dang it. Slain by a skeleton archer. Let's see. If we get three, mo if we slay a bunch of monsters, then we could get night, which would be really nice. Or would it be really night? I don't know. Ooh, a library. A scroll of identify. Powerful incantation. Ooh. Dungeon doesn't mess around, huh? It does not. And unfortunately, I am ill-equipped to fight. There we go. Do not step on the trap. No traps, please. There are you again. You're not gonna poison me this time, are you? If 
Can I ask for more strength? More strength! Come to my aid! Got him. I've been poisoned by those like twice now. Oh, hi! If I wait turns, do I heal? I don't know. Oh. Okay, there is. Alright, what was that? Ring of resist poison! Oh, thank god! That's what I need more than anything in this game. I'm a bad fighter, but I'm also addicted to poison. Oh! Gloves! Absorb two point of damage. You may need these. Do you really want to touch a slime with your bare hands? I mean, not really. I'm not a slime YouTuber. Can I- Do you want to go to the next floor? Oh, that's how you get to the next floors. I thought it was through the hatches, and then the hatches just kept killing me. Alright, we're learning. Uh-oh. Okay, there's a chest right there. There's a guy right there. Alright, I guess we're fighting. Oh! Level up! Ooh, okay. Blood vial, fully heal yourself. More loot on each depth. Critical hits restore some health. Um, let's go with blood vial. Ooh, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. Alright, this is a good room. There's a lot in here. More gloves. I will always take more gloves. And it looks like more armor, which we definitely need. Oh, hi. Dead. I'll take that. Don't even use them. Okay, no, wait. Ring of resist poison. Keep that on me. Uh, plate armor. Absolutely. I have two rings of resist poison. Well, I need both of them. Alright, let's see. Where to now? Hmm. If the chest is in front of the door, it means there's something more. What have we got in here? I've got boots. Oh, hey! Rude. Alright, well, I'll tell you what I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna step on that hatch. I've learned my lesson, thank you very much. Boots. Ooh, we're getting strong. Probably just jinxed myself with that, but I knocked on wood. There we go. Alright, hit this. We're on the hunt for the next floor. Ow. Ow. Ooh, they're not doing much damage to us now that we actually have stuff. I may actually be learning from my mistakes. I didn't think that was possible. Oh! Definitely. Alright, no trap, no, like, ladder in there. Hello! Okay, there's something behind me. Oh, it's you. Ooh, level three! All right, what have we got? Increased inventory size, more loot on each depth, more XP gain from enemies. I like that. I like leveling up. And I will eat some cheese because we actually have two cheeses. And I did not get poisoned, thank God. Okay, nothing back here. All right. Ooh, another scroll. What is that one? S they're both scrolls of identify. Ooh, a cloak. Ooh, and the ladder. Let's take this. I don't know if we'll be able to use it, but we can keep it. Cloak of accuracy. Ooh, I'll definitely take that. And then a mace. Five strength. We do have five strength. Excuse me for being blunt. Oh, I will excuse you as long as you let me kill my enemies. All right, let's go. Yes! Alright, what next? Ooh! Alright, is the archer the only one? At the moment, yes. Boom! There we go. Alright, I don't see anyone else. I'm gonna go for this one. safe. 
for now. I went quiet because I was like, nothing better jump out at me. Hello? Ooh, that does a lot of damage to you. What even is that? I don't think I've ever looked at it. Bone meal. Will, at the very least, satisfy your hunger for a little while. You feel hungry. Oh, okay. I'll eat some of that. I didn't realize hunger was a thing. What is that one? Scroll of healing? Inscribed within- Okay, don't use that yet. That's probably something we want to save for, like, an actual emergency. Oh, god! Never actually been shot at by them. I always get too close for them to deal with. Boom! Boom! Okay, wait. Okay, there we go. Go around the danger. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Where to next? This door. Hello, slimy boy! Dead. Dead slime. The ladder! Fuck you! Oh no! Time out! Got him! Alright, I'll take you out too. Just because I feel like it. Uh, and let's go! Woo! Next floor! Oh! We made it to the sewers! We're, we're moving! We're moving! We're dancing and moving! Locked chest. Don't I have a key? Slimes look as sleepy as me. Oh no. Guess I'm sleep. Sleep is important. Okay, these are locked. We need key. Don't have key. We'll have to wait. Ooh. It's a shrine. And this time I won't get poisoned, right? Marksman increased accuracy. Sewers. Cause to celebrate? It means we made it out of the first floor and we're on the next one. Let's go with increased agility, because we already increased our strength. Oh! Oh, that scared me. I don't want to deal with both of you at once. Oh, no. Oh, no! Okay, that was good damage. Oh! Ooh! Level up. Okay, what have we got? Some block damage will be reflected. I'll take that. Hang on. Hang on, buddy. Hang on, buddy, old pal, old friend. Um, I need a shield. Where's my shield? Where'd it go? Okay, I don't think I have one. <gasps> no! Cheese! Cheese! Just drink it! That didn't help me. Oh, it did! Oh, it didn't help enough! No! <laughs> But we did so good! We made it so far! Four floors, though. Aw, oh, rip, yeah. At least we made it a little far. Oh, We unlocked the ranger! Okay, four, four health, five, nine range, seven. Swift, agile, and deadly from afar. Missed arrows can be recovered. Let's try the ranger! So now, range is our friend. How many arrows do we have to start with? 16. Sounds good. And we don't lose arrows from doing that, right? Okay, no. What's hitting me? Oh, hello. There we go. So do I constantly, okay. We wanna be careful. Oh. I say after I shoot, can't stick around but have fun in your gloomy grave. Oh, thank you. I mean, it is very much a grave. I've died many times. Oh, including this time. Yay! <laughs> Slain by a skeleton. Rip. Ranks. Oh! <laughs> Top runs. The fourth floor was my highest run. And that was the only time I actually made it past the ladder. Have a great day. You too, M-Face. Have a good day. See you around. 
Alright, but on that note, I actually think we are going to switch games because this is a lot of fun. But I want to let you guys unlock the other guys and get past the sewers on your own. And obviously, I'm not the best at this game. So if we keep going, it's probably just going to be me dying a lot. So one second, let me switch to the next game. And let's see what we could do. Um, the next game will be justice.exe. Or should we do frog gun? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, I just realized I never tweeted that I was... One sec. I never tweeted. There we go. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's play some frog gun. Why not? Or... No, let's play... Let's check out justice.exe. I want to see what that one's all about. It looks pretty cool. It's dialogue heavy, so I've got my water next to me. I was warned. So let's see what we can do. Gameplay. Oh, I should probably turn that music off, huh? Oh, too late now. AI has existed in modern society for centuries. Now they're becoming sentient. As sentient IAIs began interacting with society, it became quickly evident that they needed legal counsel in a universal-based income field civilization-wide fest. As a fresh lawyer, you operate on the edge of uncharted territory. Welcome to the 23rd century. Remember to take your pills. Oh, that sounds lightly threatening. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Where, who am I, anyway? That's a good question. New game. Ooh. Your name. Um, I pressed the Windows button by accident, so we're gonna go with Windows. Records indicate you haven't set up your profile yet. Select the working style that best suits your personality. Hmm. None of these seem correct, but I'm gonna go with Charisma. Which of your friends would you say inspired you most to become an attorney? Academic, bureaucrat, elite, underworld. Um, I like Esther. She has red hair like me. Attorney OS. I'm Nectar, your personal assistant. For the first few days of your career, I will be showing you how things work around here. Tap your phone to continue. Boop, boop. Oh, first let's check your inbox. See, it's blinking. Elderly AI needs help. I'm reaching out to you through. Seems you have the first case. Read the email carefully. Dear Mr. Slash Miss Windows, I'm... Okay, I'm moving back to your phone. Alright. I'm not done reading. Hang on. I'm reaching out to you through Justice X Obsolete AI Protection Program. I'm an old nature tender, formerly the property of the Parks and Gardens Directive. I was recently put on sleep mode in a parking space and a tow truck turned its magnetic crane on very close to me. I am now malinized by multiple malfunctions and some faulty non-essential parts. I want to sue for damages. Kind regards, Krutz Nurturer, Nurturer 5000, machine ID 168F306. Okay. Justice X provides you with a secure USB drive for each case. Plug in the blue USB drive to learn more about the case. Okay. Where? Oh, got it. Great. Now click the highlighted folder icon so we can see what our case is. Alright. Alright. When you plug in your case, the USB, you can access all case-related content like contacts, case brief, and files. Click case underscore brief dot mob file so we can learn more about the case. Boop. Kroot is a gardening, gardening bot forced into retirement decades ago. Like all obsolete robots, it has a tough life on the streets. A good night of charging is the best it can hope for. Oh, poor crud or crude. Oh, 
Oh, it just wanted to charge. One night a magnetic crane parks too close while Crud is charging. Two men turn the crane on ever so briefly. They disregard maimed Kurt, who is now unable to work. Crud is seeking compensation for the damages. I think he has a case. When you start working on a new case, the first thing you do is talk to your client. Call Crude on the phone, okay? Also, let me know if the audio is ever too bad. Call Crude. Crude, I'm calling. I'm taking your case. For free. Thank you for taking the time to help me. I hope I'm not being a huge burden. Hello? Oh, that's <laughs> just end the call. <laughs> you are a burden. Goodbye. Hello, don't worry. Serving the public is my job, right? Let's get down to business. Tell me about the incident. You can press shift to bend time and rush through the most annoying parts of your daily grind. I'm freelancing as a gardener. I can't pay for all the maintenance I need. If there aren't any good jobs, I hang around a neighborhood that knows me and maintain the residents' lawns to earn my living. In the evening, I scavenge at local scrapyards. The people there let me in. They know when I come and go. I find a lot of parts for improvements and replacements. This old body is always due for some maintenance or another, especially on the inside. Anyway, I was in a nearby parking lot. I'm designed to be outside, so it's not an issue. I was hooked up to one of the meter chargers in sleep mode when a truck parked in the parking space in front of me. For some reason, technicians decided to turn on their magnetic crane. Download the documents that can be used in the courtroom to boost your defense. Click the next highlighted question so we can learn more about the event. Alright. We may need better framing of the event. Tell me the state and your environment. We might need to clear the list of damages. A clear list of damages in your health status prior to the incident. Yeah, do you have that? That would probably be really good. Oh. Alright, I can't do that yet. We need better framing of the event. Tell me about your state and environment. I was low on battery, more so than I usually am around that hour. You see, there was a big dump of droids who used to maintain electrical grids. I thought I could find some modern EMP shielding. Ironic, you might say. I spent too much time among heaps of defunct robots. The parking lot I most often use is about 20 minutes away from the scrapyard, you know. Close to suburban areas. I walk slow so I don't distract people in traffic. The parking lot was mostly empty. I occupied a space close to the entrance. I got the charger going and went to sleep. Empty parking lot, people in a hurry at night, a small voice in the back of your mind. Hmm, loudly. Good, you're learning fast, deducing important aspects of the case. Go on, ask another question. Think te the technicians parked close to you because they were in a hurry. They hastily started the magnetic crane at night because they wanted to look for a problem. That could, that's probably it. Um, and then they hurt off Void Crut. Poor Crut. Um, anything else I should know about? No, actually, I'm very concerned about my future. I'm not sure if there are any major malfunctions with my system, so it's difficult to know what is important, or if something I remember actually happened. Ooh! A unique question is available because you have a friend in academic. You can't survive in the law world without friends. Select the high highlighted question. May be able to find someone that can assess your situation. That could help out in court, right? Aha! Uh -huh. Send an email to your academic contact, Esther, to see if she knows someone that can work with the old AI. Nice! Looks like there's nothing left to talk about. I hope you took notes and key points on pen and paper. Pen because pen and paper is the way. Alright, events on the day of the incident. Do I need to take notes? Should I? Let's see. He's a gardener. Events. Okay. Let's go back to events on the day of the incident. Sure. Oh, okay. Um, that just goes through it, okay. Looks like your friend replied to the email I sent. Let's take a look and see what they wrote. Oh, oh, awesome. Hey, I think there is more risk of permanent damage to older robots, but I should really relay you to my friend. He works with geriatric robots. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, let's back to the phone call. Your client's waiting. All right. The answer I highlighted is unique. Because of your higher intelligence stat, let's use your brighter side. Clear list of damages in your health status prior to the incident. Yeah, that could probably work. You have three more stats other than intelligence. Have a look at them for your profile. One sec. Most of my visual sensors are gone. One of my legs has a sensor issue. Sometimes I smash right into the ground. Sometimes I think I've already put my foot down and then it's still in the air. 
The most damning issue is that I can no longer enter standby or sleep mode since the incident. Unsure whether they're trying to shoehorn their problems that existed prior to the incident, it might be best to ask. Um, let's see. Did you have any of these problems before the incident? Oh, I can't touch these yet. Alright. Let's see what our stats are. Oh, this is your CV. Have a look at the stats you have. Okay, high school. There are four main stats. Perception, intelligence, charisma, and endurance. Alright, my perception... Each stat changes your gameplay experience slightly. You can improve stats when you make unique choices, as we did previously. Another key factor is your contact network. There are four different types of contacts. Academics, bureaucrats, elites, and underworld. Okay. You get one contact point at the end of each case. Each contact point reveals a new legal path you can pursue. Let's go back to your client. He's waiting. Alright, um, did you have any problems before the incident? That's important to know. No, before the event, I had minor issues with my batteries. Everything I mentioned happened after the incident. I have discovered an argument which fits justice criterion. I'm filing it as prior to incident. Strong arguments are important for your case. Go on, choose the highlighted answer. Alright. How did these problems change your ability to live? Do you expect major or minor problems? Since my visual sensors are mostly gone, I can no longer do precision work in gardens or lawns. I can only mow them. Also, I ruined an asphalt road yesterday. I found a way to balance with three legs, but I don't think people like to see a giant crippled robot hobbling in their gardens. Discovered an argument which fits. I'm filing it as no work. Nice. Let's look at how the arguments work. Select the highlighted button. Alright. Alright, this section contains a list of arguments you can use in the courtroom. Each argument group consists of one or more sentences. Let's study the quality of life group. All right. Quality of life contains two arguments. Now click on the no priors argument. No priors? Oh, okay. No, had no major issues before the incident. My analysis shows the moral impact of this argument on the judge and the jury if you choose to use it. Oh, okay. You could click on the question mark on the top right to learn more about moral values. You can refresh, return to this info box to refresh your knowledge on morals if you want. Okay. Close the information later and let's study the other argument. One sec. Alright, so moral foundations theory was created by a group of social and cultural psychologists to understand why morality varies so much across cultures, yet still shows so many similarities and recurrent themes. Their five foundations are care, opposite of harm. This foundation is related to our long evolution as mammals with attachment systems and an ability to feel and dislike the pain of others. It underlies virtues of kindness. Fairness, opposite of cheating. This foundation is related to the evolutionary process of reciprocal altruism. It generates ideas of justice, rights, and autonomy. Loyalty, opposite of betrayal. This foundation is related to our long history as tribal creatures able to form shifting coalitions. It underlies virtues of patriotism and self-sacrifice for the group. It is active anytime people feel that it's one for all and all for one. Authority, opposite of subversion. This foundation was shaped by our long primate history of hierarchical social interactions. It underlies virtues of leadership and follow followership, including deference to legitimate authority and respect for traditions, sanctity, opposite of degradation. This foundation was shaped by the psychology of disgust and contamination. It underlies religious notions of striving to live in an elevated, less carnal, more noble way. It underlies the widespread idea that the body is a temple. Hmm. Nah. Live how you want. <laughs> As you can see, this argument is strong in care and fairness values. You should be aware that being a lawyer requires as much rhetoric as it requires knowledge. I've prepared different versions of the argument for you. Okay. Click on focus to see the version of the argument that emphasizes its main point. You see, there are other variations too. Dramatize and slant. Try them and see how your argument changes. This incident effectively took away my client's ability to work and sustain itself as a free member of our society. Slant. This incident effectively took my client's ability to work and sustain itself, and it was already having a hard time living. Ah, get that pity. Uh, dramatize. Malicious incident. Okay, good, you can access all the available variations when you connect to the courtroom servers. 
Speaking of preparing, well, you can't rely on me while preparing for a court, right? I'm just a poor old AI. No, Nectar, you're my buddy. <laughs> Click the study button to further study the selected argument group. Okay. Where's that? Oh, quality of life. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm passing out. Oh no, I'm fine. After nine minutes of work, you found the argument old timey. It's under quality of life. Well done, maybe you can find out more about quality of life. You could always try again. True. So this malicious incident caused by reckless disregard for a senior citizen's life effectively took away my client's ability to work and sustain itself. Huh. Now use your notepads and go back to events of the incident day. We can ask our client for witnesses. Okay. Okay, let's go back to events on the day of the incident. Sure. All right. Click on the third option or press the three key. Has anyone seen the event? I don't think so. My records are useless because I was asleep. Then I lost my normal vision. There should be a camera somewhere. I remember passing a traffic light. There must be a camera. I'll see to it. That's all I need for now, thanks. I discovered an N97P from your conversation. They appear to be a person of interest. I've added them to your contact list. Witnesses are like your minions in the battle for justice. You may extract new arguments and evidences from them, or you can have them speak. You discovered everything there is to learn from your client and the conversation and let me show you your other tasks. All right, that's all I need to know for now, thanks. I'll get you justice. There's one more thing you should see before I let you job do. Freely select the case folder, please. Take a look at our new record, damage report. It's the evidence file that we found while talking to Crut. Let's see what damage report looks like. Evidences can be combined with arguments in the courtroom. If you use them with a relevant argument, they boost its moral impact. It's important to understand what an evidence file is about. Using them out of context can make your defense weaker. Ah. I see. Close the evidence file once you've expected it, and then we'll move on. Alright, let's see. 70% fine motor skill loss, immediate parts replacement, and rehab. Hey, by the way, time is running out. Look at the remaining time to con connect to the courtroom servers. Ah! I didn't know there was a timer! You must talk with witnesses, find more arguments, evidence, and study well to be prepared for court. Time is critical resource in general, but sometimes, waiting for an email from someone you might want to wait for something, you can press shift button any time to make things faster. Okay. Take care of yourself. We'll send you the bills for this assistance service soon. Congratulations, this is the end of the tutorial, but there's still more you can do. Find and talk to new witnesses. You should speak with N97P. There's one more hidden witness to unlock. Find more arguments. There are many hidden arguments which you can unlock by talking to others or studying it. Try to find them. Check your mail. When a new email arrives, your mailbox will be highlighted. Maybe your contacts will reach out about the case. Go to the court hearing. When you feel like there's nothing left to discover, hit the skip time button in the case file page and go to your hearing. Hmm. If we talk to the witness, maybe they saw someone else who saw the incident. Let's talk to the witness. Good day. I was informed by my central AI that you need my services. Note that I'm bound by privacy law. Okay. Um... There should be a tow truck with a magnetic crane arriving on your south-southwest on the night of date redacted. Give me the events after it arrives and until it leaves. There are seven cars and an old nature development and maintenance robot. The tow truck goes close to the speed limit, takes a sharp turn, and enters the parking lot. The tow truck immediately slows and parks improperly, cutting off the three parking spaces in front of the aforementioned robot. Two men leave the car. The passenger goes towards the crane controls. The driver says something and points to the robot. The passenger hesitates, then interacts with the crane. After a couple seconds, the robot moves, but the men don't interact with the robot. They get in their truck and leave. They return to their route. Oh, so they they knew he was there, and they still did it. Oh, what is the condition and state of the robot? Is it doing anything? Its state looks like a sleep mode. I can't recognize any low-tier data catchers or lights, but this might be because it is an older model. Condition-wise, I have no diagnostic data. Do you have record of what the driver is saying? No, it is about 130 meters away from me. All right. Do they pay any more attention to the robot? Driver looks at the robot, 
points to it while facing the passenger. I assume the driver is talking to the passenger. The passenger turns the crane on and off. They get back in, the robot turns on, tries to move, and staggers. The tow truck leaves and returns to the road. Ah, all right. Discovered an argument which fits the justice criterion. Known harm. All right, you will be required to attend an online courtroom. The date will provide to your supervisor and system admin. Um, I still want to ask more questions. I think there was one more. Let's go back. All right, yeah. All right, all right, all right, okay. Um, where did the tow trucks park? Did I already ask that? Um, where do the tow trucks park? Is it close to the robot? Does not park exactly. It stops in front of the robot, perpendicular to it, taking through spaces. Um, all right, did I do the pay more attention one? I don't think I can get another witness. Okay, yeah, that's all I need for now. All right, what's our timer looking like? All right, nature of negligence. The driver knew that they might come ha cause harm to the robot. Let's focus. Slant? The driver knew they might harm the robot beside them when they turned on the crane at which point which points to reckless disregard the driver knew they might harm the robot beside them when they turned the crane on which points how little they care about life okay maybe not that hmm still no ai no response oh no 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 oh let's look at the case file how much time we got left Okay, we got six hours. Oh, seven second footage. Ah. Oh, and it even records the citizens. Oh, poor crut. All right, let's see. Um, can I study the the thing? Yeah, nature of negligence. Can I study it? Is that a gun? Okay. All right then. Hmm. I think I just saw Satan. Satan in the courtroom. After six minutes, it's clear that it's a dead end. You should focus on another argument. All right, well, both of these are pretty good arguments. Maybe I could talk to Crut again. Let's see if we can get anything out of him. There's one more witness I can't find, apparently. Thanks for taking the time to help me. I hope I'm not being a huge burden. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Um, damage is caused by the incident. Anyone seen this event? Uh, I will see to it. Um, damage caused by the incident. I wanted to talk about it. Okay. Can I? Okay, I can't. <laughs> Incident, no work. Can I study quality of life again? Maybe we'll find something. Is that Google? Okay, dead end. What about. Oh, email! Alright, okay. Ah! Does research with old AIs hands on? His expertise is rejection, decreasing methods for upgrading old AI, but he knows a ton of related stuff. He might be critical in determining the damage on your client. Don't mind his title. He's young. All right. Next witness. You're not a witness, but. Hey, Esther asked me to talk to you about your case. All right. Thanks for the call. My main concern was about the cost of my client's repairs, but it implied it might not be possible to help it return to its old self. It is a Nurturer 5000 fixable. Wow, it must be more than 35 years old. Well, if you can find its spare parts anywhere but a museum, they should be real cheap, that's for sure. Slapping on some random stuff would definitely cripple it more. It needs a Peregrine processing transference before installing any new hardware. To put simply, you find an old motherboard and a CPU to be interfaced between your client and something small, let's say a laptop, then you let old AI learn how new software works. Not very exciting, but it's a long process. Can you give me a ballpark cost for all of this, and can I put your name under my claim? 
Maybe my charisma will come in handy here. For a 35-year-old machine, it should take about three weeks of transference, four if you want to be safe. Plus the replacement parts, that should be about 35 to 40k credits. And yes, you could put my name on the statement. Ah, thank you. Oh, oh, game, game, don't crash. Oh, all right. I have discovered another argument. Damages by expert, nice. That was a big help. All I need for now, thanks. All right, two witnesses. We've got a new argument. Damages by expert. Prep needs about 40k credits worth of services to get back to health for anyone who is thinking that industrial parts are not that expensive. Note that Crud is about 35 years old. Let's focus. Crud needs about 40k credits worth of services to get back to health. That was not something Crud could cause would cause to himself. Slant? Crud needs about 40k credits. Cost is substantially higher than what a younger model would need to cough up for similar damages. Um, that could work, or I could default. What does that do to my argument? Dramatizing doesn't do anything. Fairness, slant. Crut needs about 40k credits worth of services to get back to health. This is just a small number compared to the mental torture of not being able to use your body. That's actually, my, that might work. All right, I think we're ready for the courtroom. Am I gonna be able to do things? Um, I'll do that and then Driver knew that they might come harm to the robot. Focus. Driver knew they might come harm to the robot. All right, let's just go to the courtroom. Do you want to skip time and start the hear the court hearing? Yes. Might as well, huh? Waiting on participants. Oh, I got a call. This is the trial of Crut, the Nature Tender versus Carry On LLC. If you are in the session by accident, leave immediately, or else you will be liable in grounds of data privacy. Please swear to tell the whole truth, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I swear to tell the whole truth, so help me God. I swear to tell all the truths. Oh, we got jurors. Please claim your assigned slots. Bandwidth stipend is enabled. Court is now in session. Your honor, your honor. Oh, here are jurors. This is the case of Crut, the Nature Tender versus Carry On LLC. Council of Carry On LLC shall start. Of course, Your Honor. Ladies, gentlemen, free AI of the jury, you will easily see the claims of the plaintiff are unfounded. This is an outcast effort to leech off productive members of society while tarnishing the reputation of my client, Carry On LDT. Magnetic cranes are used every day in civilian areas. Holding operators in Carry On LLC to the standards of bygone eras robots is unreasonable. Even if the plight of elderly AI living in the fringes of society is heartbreaking, this should not permit anyone to tarnish the reputation of a company. Even if the accusations were true and my client was liable, 11 sensors and two industrial rotor systems seems too much for just a couple of seconds besides a regular industrial magnet. Even if the damages are real and liability is with the carry-on LLC, it seems that a bunch of sensors and rotors should not cost as much as correct claims. I believe the jury would see through creeping over humanization of sentient AI to violate human rights. This is all I have to say for now. I expect wisdom of jury to sort fact from fiction. Defense can now give their opening statements. Oh, it's my turn. Of course, your honor. All right, this honor roll. What happened to Crut is very common in today's day and age. Not a smile tilts your head. To agree with you more, output, let's see. Stand domineering and see down into disagreeing jurors to silence them. Goodwill, reducing moral and reduced 50% in targets. You will gently disconnect a couple of jurors from the courtroom server so they will not hear the next argument you speak. Try to give some of the guess if some of the jurors will like or dislike your next argument to get a better understanding of how they think. Let's go with charisma, that's my highest thing. <laughs> Select the jurors you want to boost positive impact on this argument. Total goodwill. Let's go with you, you, uh, and you. Ladies, gentlemen, and honorable free AI of the public, what happened to Crut is very common in today's day and age. Oh, that did not work in my favor, I don't think. Alright, just with a glance at Crut, I'm sure you can liken him to someone you know. 
Why is it that our society feels free to create and abandon? How would you feel if someone representing a company harmed you in a substantial way, costing you an arm and a leg, literally, and then a company turns to you saying submit and kneel before the corporation? Hmm. Um, yes. Oh no, wait, I don't, I don't want to. Alright, let's make a speech. Alright. Ah. If you cause harm as a private individual, you pay for it. You cover the damages you caused, and if there is nothing criminal, the event does not even register. This suit, however, is the result of our legal system giving an inch to corporations. Let's see. Arrogant speech. Select the jurors who you want to decrease negative impacts on this argument. Um, let's go with these ones. If you cause harm as a private individual, you pay for it, like I said. Hmm. Not only that they are bureaucratic entities with resources to deluge the legal system with lawsuits to bend the people to their will, but they also give no empathy and act sociopathically with no one batting an eye. That is very true. Let's just see how it goes. Select jurors who you think will agree with this argument. Okay, authority. Pious, pacifistic, authoritarian. Glamorous, meticulous, pacifistic. Let's do that. Hopefully pacifistic means that she'll feel bad. Yeah. In sum, Kret's case is about whether we would allow corporations to dictate how we should live, suffer, or seek justice. Let me just, um... Moral is reduced. Okay. Decrease the negative impact of this argument. Forgetful, afraid of commitment, pensive, fidgety, intuitive. Authoritarian. Um, glamorous. Let's see. Ooh, this is tough. Guys, please work with me. Let's see, I hope the jury's wisdom. But you should ask yourself if you could turn this incident into an act of kindness. Maybe that'll work. Uh, let's see. Or wait, let's see. Um, fairness and authority. Let's go with that one. <clears throat> Alright. Who do you think will agree with this argument? Let's see. Intuitive, fidgety, pensive, forgetful. Afraid of commitment, authoritarian. Pacifistic, pious, glamorous, bashful. I don't know what that means. Um... But let's let's do it. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna lose for poor Crut. Looks like the jury will have a lot of discussion about this. An argument. It has both supporters and oppositions. End opening statement. That's all I have to say for now. I expect wisdom of the jury to sort back from fiction. Counsel shall start examining their witness now. Mark Adams can start. Of course, Your Honor. I want to call Crut to the stand. No, leave my boy alone. Crut, can you tell us about what your regular day? Do freelance gardening in the neighborhood and rest by the metered public charger. How is your relationship with the people around the neighborhood? How do you maintain yourself? Why is she in a rush to ask? Objection! Counsel, I did good. Combat, re re relevance. Overruled. Is that good? Oh, bah, I didn't know what I was doing. Well, I chat with people in the neighborhood and scrapyard. I usually look for usable and cheap parts in the scrapyard. Are you designed to operate in a scrapyard? Fair point, actually. No, madam, I'm designed for outdoors, such as gardens, lawns, and farms. My model was also used in arboreal environments. Could have avoided the question with a direct no. Keeping that in mind, can we say that you would be more prone to accidents in a scrapyard than in your intended habitat? I'm an industrial model all around, sir. It is possible, but not probable. I see. When was your last official checkup by an expert? It's been seven years since the company discontinued my model, so about a decade ago. So are you saying there is no documentation of you being healthy and operational prior to the incident? Ah, uh, can I object? I don't know what I would even go for that. I don't think there is a way to. I want to switch to the next line of questioning. Crut, have you ever encountered a magnetic crane? Yes, I have. 
How do you handle encountering one? She's setting up an attempt to blame the victim. Most adult humans realize that I'm an older model, so they warn me. Or else, if I see one, I talk to the owners and operators or avoid them. So you are making an active effort to avoid magnetic cranes. Um, I'm gonna object. Um, leading. That question is funneling the substance of my client's testimony, Your Honor. Sustain. Ha! Huh, I did it! Defense arrest, Your Honor. Yeah! Nice try, Mark Adams. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Would you continue your examination of Crut or call a new witness to testify? Um... Um... Let's call... Um... Crut. Yes, Your Honor. I want to cross-examine Crut. Can you please give me a rundown of the unfortunate day you were crippled? I mowed three lawns, headed to the scrapyard around six, and was told to come by early in the morning. I parked in the lot, hooked myself to a charger, and went to sleep around 9 p.m. I woke up to magnetic interference and realized it was a crane driving away. It was not as dramatic as it could have been. Can you tell the jury when did you realize the damages were severe? It was the next morning. I was concerned for my performance at that moment, but I thought it would be normalized the next day. However, next morning I was still partially broken. This is AI version of walk it off. Did he really think turning himself on, on and off again would work? Can you give a clear list of the damage to the jury? Of my 12 visual sensors, 8 of them can't process depth and distinguish edges, and 7 of them can't process color. Two rotor systems in my mid-right leg do not respond optimally. Most of the time I stomp that leg, and sometimes I can't land it, even if I'm running the same mobility controls I've had since I was made. Worst issue is with my global processor states. I can't go to sleep or stand by. Aww. And how do these damages affect your day-to-day -day routine? Well, sir, I can't or shouldn't move. I have a difficult time distinguishing objects from background. Also, I damage any hard surface because of my stomping. Simply, he can't sleep, walk, or work. Hopefully, jury caught that. Even though most of the jury liked what you said, those who oppose it are clearly showing their disdain. Oh, yeah, we've got quite a few bad ones. Let's see. Yes! Let's see. Crut needs about... That is a small number compared to the mental torture. Let's focus. Um, no. Slant. Crut needs 40 credits worth of services. Cost is substantially higher than what a younger model would need to cough up similar damages. Yeah, let's let's do that. Uh, seed doubt in the disagreeing jurors. Um, let's see. You guys, please listen to me. Dear judge and members of the jury, I also want to note that Crut needs about 40k credits worth of services to get back to health. Cost is substantially higher than what a younger model would need to cough up for similar damages. Even though most of the jury disliked what you said, those who liked it and support you are not a small group. I'm gonna rest. This is all I need for now. Crut, thanks. Defense, rest your honor. I feel like I'm gonna fuck this up. Let's not waste the taxpayer's bandwidth. Will you call a defense another witness? Dear judge, defense has no witnesses to call right now. Would you call a new witness to testify? Yes! Want to call N97P to the stand. Tell us the events that happened at the parking lot. Because the, they saw him! They saw him there and they still did it! There were seven cars on an old nature development. Tow truck goes to close to the speed limit. Takes a sharp turn and enters the parking lot. The tow truck immediately stows down. Parks improperly, cutting off the three parking spaces in front of the aforementioned robot. Two men leave the car. The passenger went towards the crane controls. The driver says something and points to the robot. The passenger hesitates, then interacts with the crane. After a couple seconds, the robot moves, but the men don't interact with the robot. The men get on the truck and leave, and then return to their route. The tow truck immediately slows and parks improperly, cutting the three parking spaces in front of the aforementioned robot. Two men leave the car. Passenger goes towards the crane controls. Driver says something and points to the robot. The passenger hesitates and interacts with the crane. After a couple seconds, the robot moves, and the men don't interact with the robot. Get in the truck and leave. They turn. To, they return to their route. Can you confirm the industrial robot in the video is crud? 
Affirmative. Can you confirm the passenger is Mr. Larib? Affirmative. Can you confirm the passenger is Mr. Reddish? Affirmative. Okay. Um. All right, I have nothing else to ask. Rest. That's all I need for now. Thanks, Defense Rest, your honor. Will Defense call another witness? Do you judge Defense has no witnesses to call right now? Would you call a new witness to testify? Um, let's call, let's call, I want to call the dude, I want to call him out. Shows that you were aware, by, aware robot was close by, did you think that you could hurt it? Let's see. Yes, there is always a slight chance. Hmm. Tried to speak to your friend. Can you tell us what you said to Mr. Reddish? Well, I really didn't say anything that matters. Hmm. No, you didn't push any buttons or pull any levers. You're not culpable. To We're just trying to do the right thing. You're under oath and misleading an honorable jury is a serious felony. I'm going full anarchy. Probably wasn't the best thing to say. A little flexing on the camera and legal threats always puts the fear of God into him. I told him there's a robot, robot right, lying down. We might need to move. And what did he say? He said, it's okay. We will just turn it on for a second. I need to state that Mr. Reddish was warned about potential harm to the robot. That's very true. And he still pressed the button. Looks like a couple jurors support you, but they're silent against the rest who really despise this argument. Well, y'all are- y'all suck. I need to talk to the passenger now. Can I talk to the passenger? Dear judge, defense has no witnesses to call right now. Would you call a new witness to testify? Alright, I talked to that guy. Let's talk to Reddish. I want to call Anthony Reddish to the stand. In light of what Mr. Larib said, do you consider- did you consider potential harm to the nearby robot? Anthony's eyes have widened and his skin has taken on the clay machine. No, not really. Then why did you say, and I quote Mr. Larib, it's okay, we will just turn it on for a second. Um... Why do you think a second matters if it will not factor into any harm you might cause? Opposing counsel stops halfway to a facepalm. Facts are on your side and hopefully jury will be either. The opposing counsel stops halfway to a facepalm. While there is a large group who dislike your argument, your supporters are de look defiant. After he was warned, Mr. Reddish was aware of potential harm. It still doesn't look good for me though. No, no. no. <laughs> Despite the majority of the d jury disliking your argument. Okay, the driver knew he might cause harm to the robot beside them when they turned the crane on. Let's see. Um, Alright, try to guess if some jurors will like a dislike. Try to get a, be to get a better understanding of how they think. Um, let's go um, with these. Pacifistic. And you're an AI. I think. Dear judge and members of the jury, I also want to note that the driver knew they might cause harm to the robot beside them when they turned the crane on. Even though most of the jury disliked what you said, those who liked and supported you are not a small group. Alright, rest. I think those are all the witnesses I can call. Defense rests. Alright. Dear judge, defense has no witnesses to call right now. Alright, um, I don't think I have any other witnesses. I'm retreating from the examination. As no witnesses are left to examine, it's time we proceed to closing statements. Opposing counsel shall start. <coughs> <coughs> I want to re-emphasize major issues about how Krupp poses a danger to our society. It is so old that it's impossible to keep him at an optimal performance. Hence his very existence alongside Gen Pop is a physical danger. 
Imagine Crut losing control of some of its shears when it's close to a playground or a church mass. As it is financially unfeasible for Crut to seek employment and look after itself, it tries to leech off productive members of the society. I'm not saying Crud is not unfortunate, but a corporation should not be subject to such treatment. Just because a random old robot cannot pay for its imp shielding, corporations already help more than enough. I urge the jury to keep in mind the current organization of our society and the harm it might bring to violating the liberties of corporations. Oh, he really ruined it for me! That's all I have to say now. Expect wisdom of the jury. I'm not gonna be able to help Crud. I am. I'm so bad at this. Of course, Your Honor. Alright. See, it is my sincere wish that the truth we have unfolded will help you reach the best judgment. But let me emphasize one last time. Um, total goodwill. Oh, it gets so bad! Um. Let's see. Hmm. Um, impressive speech. Um, let's see if that helped at all. Um, looks like a couple of jurors support you, but they are silent against the rest who really despise this argument. This was about how we take care of our most unfortunate and downtrodden. That's a good one. With authority and sanctity. This is about not letting a corporation trample over the rights of a pri private citizen. That could work. But let's see. You're authoritarian. So I'm just gonna... Boop! And then let's see. Um... Pensive. Boop! This was about not letting the corporation, blah blah blah. No. Oh, that works a little bit. How we treat the weak and needy, or how we let them be treated, it is not a reflection of our power, but a reflection of our moral standing. I like that. I like that. Let's see. Alright. Um, so it's care, loyalty, and sanctity. Um, pacifistic, bashful, sanctimonious? I'm gonna hope that's right. How we treat the weak and needy or how we let them be treated is not a reflection of our power, but a reflection of our moral standing. Oh, that, 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 that helped a little bit. As such, we are trying to reach a fair result for Crut. Carry on LLC through its employees is trying to keep its power pristine unchallenged. Um, okay, fairness. They're not gonna like that, so let's see. Um, try to guess if some of the jurors will like or dislike your next argument. Let's go with arrogant speech. Output of the largest goodwill reducing moral is reduced. Um, so it's about fairness now. Um, don't really know anything about my jurors, do I? Man in a mask. That's interesting. All right, let's see. I'll go for you, and I'll go for you. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just hoping I can help somehow. Oh? I hope the jury will consider how much power companies should have in our life, or loyalty. Yeah, let's go for one more impressive speech. And let's see. Uh, glamorous, pacifistic, bashful. Uh, oh, I don't know how good I'm doing. You're, you cause a really close split in the jury. This will probably cause extended discussion. Before letting the jury declare a moment, we will have a... Give them a moment to finalize their discussion. In light of the information presented by Windows and Amiga von Gronberg, a verdict has been reached. Decided not to pursue Crut for defamation against their company. Oh no! Oh no! I'm so sorry, Crut! I was trying! Meaningless loss. Hmm. Literally take the oppression of AI personally. They should have given the poor AI what it wanted. Most agreeable jury. Most disagreeable jury. Who thought up all this AI rights BS? If we keep treating them like humans, we're gonna be replaced. Hashtag wake up, sheeple. Um, 
Comments on social media, can't we get someone to invent the AI replacement for CEOs who harass their employees and waste co company funds on ugly GIFs? Pull that off and you get 99% voting in favor of AI rights. Cases like this banished to history. I literally can't understand why AI can't get their rights respected if they are capable of being responsible. Truly need more robots like Kurt in this world. Freelance gardening is such an admirable job. Ah, oh, I feel so bad. Intelligence went- okay, okay. Oh, so we can get new stuff. Alright, so we're gonna probably suck for a bit, but the more stuff we get, the better we'll get. Intelligence abilities is useful to analyze and bend the information around you. There are ways of giving mastery to your brain over data you have or have not accessed. Perception abilities help you benefit from what's been going on around you and what might happen eyes wherever data flow. Charisma ability manages your presence, vocalization, gestures, and sometimes appearance to alter effects of what you do. Endurance abilities manipulate your raw energy and will and will to enhance your capability your yourself and suppress others' capabilities. All right. Well. Ooh, if I level up charisma, or I can. Hmm. That'd go up five. I like perception. Um, because we can learn more about the jurors. So I'll do that. Kurt's case ended, leaving you exhausted. It seems like a good time to look at the ceiling and contemplate. However, time does not stop when you're not busy. Regardless of your performance, people reach out and ha you have ample time to reach back. It might be best to work on networking. Hmm. Um, yeah. We already have someone academic. Let's go for elite. Juliet is a friend you want in your corner when you're backed up, but not cross paths otherwise. Youngest sister to four boys. She is supposedly the sixth generation of a dynastic family, but Juliet is no daddy's princess. You met in one of the mandatory classes about introduction to something or something else. Sheer low-level rage constantly emitting from Juliet is surprising from her stature, and she looks not that smart. Pieces fall into place when you hear her talk. She has her ways of steering conversations into some ambiguous territory where she exerts her will. She is a polite weasel with the attitude of a pirate, stuck in a cute brunette lady's body. Alright, what about Underworld? Lars, a street smart criminal with a good attitude. He was your collateral win while trying to save a dumb friend who got caught buying drugs from Lars. Pulling an ancient case from your ass and interpreting it beyond police to sanity. Boys in Blue was sure they wanted to dodge the case about discrimination to short people. Lars is a joy to chat with as you see each other as windows to the other side of law and life. Good buddy if you want to drown your sorrows or a man. Fred is a red tape bender in a mid-tier position but high caliber. He was your buddy in the internship a couple years back. He has too much passion and intelligence for his very mundane dreams and limited creativity. The moment you heard his completed law TM training and started working at Justice X, you knew he would have been crucial for you in the long run. Hierarchies cannot comprehend people who are not afraid to fall and who have no desire to rise. Fred, on the other hand, has his own style and respect to the hierarchy, authority, and competence. This is why Fred wields his power in his domain in a way common people need and the system cannot conceptualize. Hmm. You know what? Let's go with bureaucrat. But I think that's where we're gonna stop the game. New case probably because the grind never ends. Well, the grind does end right here because we are going to stop for now. And we're going to... I'm gonna do a quick BRB and drink a coffee or something. Maybe eat a little bit of food and then we will be back with possibly our last game of the night. We will see. But I will be right back.
back. Hello. Alright. I return, and now we will move on to maybe the last game of the night. I don't know. We'll see how we feel. Um, Hipster Cafe. Where is it? There it is. Speaking of Hipster Cafe, I've got a one of those mocha... We are the hips. Oh, God. Oh, no, I didn't mean to skip it. Dang it. Hang on. We can't skip that. Whatever that is, I want to see it. I want to see it. Hang on, we got, we got, <laughs> I'll try and see if I could get the audio on screen. Maybe if I just leave it there for a second. But yeah, I have one of those mocha drinks that you get in a glass. We are the hipsters, the imitators, the harbingers of change, the deconstructors of a regular cup of coffee. Oh God, why? We insta, we pinspire. Always towards something different. Although not necessarily better. <laughs> All the norms we defy. The trends we make. The mockery we endure. Only makes us braver. <laughs> There's no <laughs> Oh God! Why? <laughs> In an avocado shell. I love it. <laughs> That's beautiful. All right, new game. We'll start with the tutorial because I don't know what I'm doing. All right, welcome to the tutorial. Let me introduce you to personal computer games. Use the WASD, Q and E to rotate the camera, mouse wheel, zoom, toggle the game, fast board button here. You can also hit space to toggle between play and pause. Huzzah! WSD, I prefer arrow keys. Ah, oh, I see. Gold star, just for you. Thank you. Entertainment. And they're here before it's cool. Our first hipster. They're going to tell the same story about this moment incessantly for ages. Hipsters are easily bored. We need to keep them entertained. Click on the hipster to find out what they need. Timber! Timber! You can see how many each type of the need the hipsters have here. Click here to open the furniture build menu. Seems like a good match for the first need. Place the furniture somewhere on the ground. You can right click to rotate the furniture. Hmm, let's put it as far away from the door as possible. Right here. So when you go to pick up your coffee, you have some hipster punching violently next to you. Will you enjoy that? Go have fun. Have fun, my little hipster. I'm so proud of you. All right, we need a Bitcoin machine, too. Oh, now that's a happy hipster. They still have a second need we need to fulfill. Build something to satisfy their second need. I gotcha. We'll put that all the way on the other side. <laughs> there we go. It's over... Serious needs. Oh, they found it. Sorry, I know I put it very far away. But that's what you gotta do. Oh, hey, Vale, how you doing? I'm building a hipster cafe. All right, hipsters just wanna have fun. Gold star for you, nice. Hipsters will order food by listing the ingredients you want. I think they're just doing it to be annoying. The hipster wants some food. We don't have it on the menu yet. Check the notification on the menu button. All right. Oh. While hovering the notifications, you can see ingredients we don't have yet on the menu. Some ingredients may not have been researched yet. How do you have you? Woo! Yips, hipster cafes! Yeah! We're doing it before it's cool, you know? The plus button to add something to the menu. Click on the burger icon. First, we need to decide what to serve it on. Start by picking your plate. But I don't want that. Okay. Pick ingredients from the menu on the left. Try to find ingredients to, that appeal to the same hipster type. All right, you can preview how well different types of hipsters will like your food on the right. The price of your dish will show at the bottom right. Advanced ingredients let you overcharge more. Hit the back arrow to undo the last step. You can use the same camera controls as before, WASD to move, add more ingredients, try to combine the things that the same type of hipster likes. All right, well, if there's anything I know about burgers, you need some bread, you need some bourbon, because it's a B for burger, um, 
You need an egg? When you're happy with your meal, click the burger button to finalize the recipe. I don't know what you think this is. But, it, oh, and then we need the top of the burger. We also need the the sesame seeds. This is the closest. Well, this actually kind of looks like a sesame seed. It's too big, but we'll put it we'll put it in the corner where nobody has to look at it. And then, of course, no burger is complete without 57 asparagus. Three, four. I, I don't think I could do that many. We'll we'll do f seven. Six. Seven. And of course, some cheese. I think. Would you eat that? I would eat that. Maybe. Definitely. Um, alright. I think that is the most delicious thing I've ever seen. Vibrant lap Oh, I can name it. Um the one and only true burger um uh, of the hip and then um a burger for those who crave real burgers not those boomer burgers filled with all the flavors this cafe could afford with our shitty budget. Todd, you suck. Give me more money. There we go. I like that. <laughs> you can hover over recipes to see who it's popular with. Click the menu button again to close the menu. Nice. Coffee. A cafe without a coffee is like, well, I guess a tea house, maybe. The hipster wants a coffee type or flavor we don't have yet. All right, let's see. While hovering the notification, you can see coffee we don't have yet on the menu, but the flavors and coffee type matters. Minbron! Hello! How are you doing? All right, coffee. Oh, Java Bean Joe, Bean Juice, or Rocket Fuel, whatever you call it, coffee is the stuff that makes the most hipsters go in the morning. First, you should pick the type of coffee to serve. More advanced coffees have to be unlocked via research. Mix up the blend of the coffee with the sliders. The arrow indicates how much the hipster likes your coffee blend. I'm surviving, how are you? More of the same. I had an overtime shift um, on Sunday, and then I got home and I crashed, and I fell asleep, and then I woke up on Monday, just in time for my next 5 a.m. shift, and I got to work, and then my manager was like, do you think you can stay for a full shift? And I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> I said it much nicer and much more submissively because you know I'm a wage slave, but <laughs> what do you do? I work at a store that rhymes with Blargit. <laughs> In addition to flavor, the hipsters will ask you to draw something on your coffee so they can post it pictures of it on Tutor. You can click the hipsters to see a visual hint. Try to draw what they want. Show drawing hit. Draw a tree. Draw a dumbbell. <laughs> Alright. Brush size. Swirliness. Liquid speed. Alright. Hipsters will tell you what they think of what you've drawn here. If you manage to draw what they want, the coffee gets a bonus. When you're happy with your coffee, finalize it. Alright. What's our blend? Bitter as fuck. Bright as fuck. And smooth bodied. Okay, yeah, that sounds rough. I used to work for Starbucks. It was a real motivator to get my act together. Open shifts are a big old 0 out of 10. Oh, yeah. I don't even know if I'm specifically an open shift person. I just think that, like, I'm one of the newer employees, so they just feel like they can demand things of me, and I'm a little bitch, so I'll often do it. But this time I was like, yeah, no. What's some grapes doing in my coffee? A spider made of coffee? Hashtag hipster. All right, fine. I'll do a better job. I'm sorry. But now your coffee's gonna not- it, it's not even gonna be bright. Your coffee is dark like your attitude. I don't know what that means. Boom. Is that a tree? A tennis racket! I once had an ice cream that looked like that. Oh, fuck you. Uh, let's see. Coffee looks like a cloud. Uh, uh, uh tree it is a tree i'm also gonna write a little f you a tree 
They still think it's a tree. All right, coffee is done. Bland, full-bodied filter coffee. Bitter, like my soul. That's a Vine reference if anyone got it. Here's the tree you wanted, biatch. Stop calling me. I'm, I'm seeing someone else. I don't even know what I'm writing anymore. <laughs> There we go. You can hover over the recipe to see who it's popular with. I'm assuming nobody. Seating. Hipsters also need somewhere to sit. Okay. Oh, what happened? Okay. Furniture. Buy a table and a chair and place them next to each other. Okay. Let's go for a simple square table right next to the register just to make my employees uncomfortable. If you misplace the furniture, you can move it again. And let's get a toilet chair. <laughs> and we're gonna have it facing this way. Oh, dang it, you can't do that. All right, fine, like that. There we go. We only need one seat, right? Social media. Ooh, hot topic on Tutor. When they need to project a better version of themselves, the hipsters turn to Tutor, a social media network that is definitely not a copyright infringement. Neither is Blargit. To be a true influencer on Tutor, you need to build your follower count. When you gain- but if I am- if I gain my follower account, then I can't be someone that they liked before it was cool anymore. And then am I really a hipster? You gain followers when hipsters have positive experiences in your cafe, and when you have successful toot on Tutor. Right now, there's a hot topic being discussed on Tutor. You have until the hot take timer runs out to work out what the topic is and use the right hashtags about it. Alright, lunchtime in the garden. Halloween. Kai Jordan movies, hot takes, show hipster type trends. Click here to load any new toots. No new messages. Let's see. Lockdown, uh, lunchtime in a garden. Hipsters use hashtags to imply that their brain farts belong to a meaningful group of messages. The secret to tutor is to work out which trending hashtags belong together and send out a toot with those hashtags before the hot toot timer takes out. Not hot toot. I don't know why I said that. Pick two hashtags that go together from the drop downs here. All right, let's see. Um, beans and uh, cafe life. All right, you can also pick hashtags by clicking on them from other hashtags. When you've picked your hashtags, click submit to send your toot. All right, let's click on some hashtags then. Well-being and um, fat movies. Favorite movie, favorite show, favorite game, and favorite album. Mario Bros. was a joke. I don't want her. Oh, that got a lot of likes. Fortunately, that wasn't the competition of hashtags that were trending. However, even a lukewarm take earned some likes. Alright. Oh, god. I accidentally... There we go. Nice. Research. The hipsters need new stuff to keep them happy. By that, I mean older stuff or more ironic. Alright, research. Ah. Use the buttons along the top to choose a research category. You can hover over your mouse over each research item to find out what benefit it gives. When you pick a research target, all missing prerequisites will be researched in sequence. What an odd game. <laughs> it is a little peculiar, but I, I kind of like it. Especially the decorating the food option. I'll have to show you that in a second. All missing prerequisites will be researched in sequence. Food. Bacon. Yes, your staff research, research stations. Escape. The bacon! I have bacon! Bacon! What's going on out here? The old library. Oh, we can- I can buy the animal rescue center. I don't know if people would like that. Are you done yet? I don't pay you to be lazy. Why do you have a helmet on? Oh, it's a- it's a, like a golf cap. Nice. All right, and business. Your parents have set up- he <laughs> set you up with a nice trust fund to start you off. Click here to open the business menu. Ah, huh. although you're not yet financially independent from your parents, you should probably keep an eye on your income and expenses. If you run out of money, you can call your dad, but if you ask for money too often, they might force you to get a real job. This is a real job. I'm doing things, I did it again. Help. Help. Oh no, I think I got stuck. Hang on, let me... Okay, yeah, I did get stuck. Hang on. 
Dang it. Let me fix that. But yeah, work work has been stressful. So, I actually, uh, I was planning to, like, I had that, uh, Prodigal video Minbron saved up for ages. Because I was going through showcases and I was actually running late on uploading because I was asked to stay late. And I was like, I was not ready to do that, but alright, I guess here I am. And so I was able to edit it real quick and put it up, which I was very happy with because I really, I think that's my, the favorite part of Prodigal so far that I've done. I really like it. Let me see if I can load. Uh, is this the right one? Oh, I should drink my own coffee. How can I be a hipster if I don't? That's a really funny video. I enjoyed it. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> I'll have to play more soon. Uh, I should- Oh, god damn it. Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I have three recipes on the menu. I really- I really want to play more when I have a chance. Alright, I'm gonna pause real quick. Let's make some food. Oh, I lost my cool stuff. Alright, it's fine. Alright, let's have a square plate. I'm gonna call this recipe egg. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh god. <laughs> oh these e Oh eggs don't cost anything. Oh they <laughs> both of them don't like it. Well this is our only recipe so you better deal with it. It's delicious and nutritious. You can never get enough eggs. What a magical looking dish. Isn't it? I don't know why they don't like it. Oh, they won't order it unless it's okay. Not my problem. We'll, we'll add some stuff afterwards. It's still only a $4 dish. Maybe they're just mad because I'm killing all of the... I'm single-handedly funneling more money into the egg business. And then an asparagus. Ah! The single asparagus is what tipped her over. Look at that. No, absolutely fucking not. And then, yeah, I'd buy that. <laughs> what if I add a cookie? Nobody liked that, okay. What about another asparagus? <laughs> what about another one? Okay, one was the magical number, it seemed. What about cheese? Oh, they really like the cheese, okay. I don't... <laughs> More cheese? More cheese. More cheese. There we go. Perfect. Finalize the recipe. Intense pureed egg chow. No. This is the egg tower. Built up like a tower of eggs. But cracks under pressure just like I do when my dad yells at me. More cheese, please. I will make- the next one will be just cheese, I promise. Let's make a cheese one. Just for you. Let's see. I'm gonna make a cheese castle. Oh, that one was not placed very well. Let's see. Oh, that one wasn't placed well either. More cheese. There we go. Alright. It's like that scene in Buzz Lightyear where it's a a cheese machine. No, it's a cheese sandwich. Except it's inverted. See, because like hipsters like those new trends. So it is a sandwich. It's just this the bread is the cheese. It's mind-blowing stuff. Like, some people just don't get it. And that's okay. There we go. Just a little more cheese, I think. Can't believe that this cheese does not cost me anything at all. And look how beautiful it is. I wonder if these are actually gonna load into the game when people order stuff, or if they won't. There we go. 
There we go. I think that looks good. What do you think, Vale? Do you want anything else on your cheese tower, or is this good enough? I don't know if we can perfect a recipe like this, but we could certainly try. Oh, but once we research bacon, it is over. You are a cheese machine printing free cheese. I know, this probably isn't even real cheese, honestly. Because cheese is expensive. It is Gouda enough. I'm glad. Hopefully we'll make lots of cheddar with this one. Let's see, a tower of cheesiness. Just as cheesy as the movies we use. We use to watch together. Jessica, why did you leave me? Come back. I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. And then let's make a coffee. We need to have at least one coffee, so let's see. You want a dumbbell or a tree? Fuck both of you. We're going for super sweet, super bright, super full bodied. Oh, they don't like that at all. Okay, what about bitter? And that? Oh, oh, okay. They like that. Okay, no, they don't like that. Well, let's bring it back. Huh. Oh, oh, got them both. Okay. All right, now what do you want? You want a tree? And a dumbbell. Alright, I'll do a dumbbell. Boom! Boom! Boop! It's not a beard! It's a dumbbell! A mustache! No, you don't understand my artistic process. Fine. I'll do it small. And weak. Diving board. Now Oh, that's a dumbbell! There we go! Alright, finalize the coffee. We're gonna call this the conformist coffee. I only made this so you both would like it. How can you be hipsters and yet conform? Stupid sheeple, I hate all of you. <laughs> Hopefully no one reads the actual recipes. Okay, we have three recipes. Now we need some chairs. Because nobody can really sit down right now. Let's get a pool table in here. What did- why'd you kick the- Aggressive! Alright, we're gonna have one- We're gonna have a sandbag chair. A newspaper chair. And... A toilet chair in the corner. That is the- that is the seat of the house, alright? This is the VIP chair. This is where you really want to be. I know it doesn't look like it, but... It, this is the- this is the- that's the seat of the house right there. Let me move the pool table over a little bit. There we go. Alright, what- what are people ordering? Did you just order bread? I mean, I know that my recipes aren't the best, but really? Just bread? Why are you guys all wearing that? Oh, okay. They're like artists? Why have they got gas masks on? Is this freaking the flooded district of Dunwall? Oh, look, you can see! It, there's the cheese tower! Fail! They have the cheese! It's beautiful! Oh, and he's sitting in the VIP toilet chair! Oh, he ate that fast! Holy shit! He must have opened his mouth like a freaking viper. What is that desktop? They like my cheese. They like it. All right, you, what do you want? You need some seriousness. Okay, let me see if I can find that. We need some serious entertainment here. Here's a Bitcoin machine just for you, buddy. Why are you freaking out? Because there's no music? Okay, there's a DJ deck. I will put it right in front of the cafe. There we go. 
Oh, more cheese dishes. Look at that. Alright, we need another dish, I think. Oh no, I did it again. Okay, thank god. Um, why is no one using the seat? I specifically made this chair for you guys. Why are you- okay. What are we missing out on furniture? There's an exclamation point. Alright, let's add a new menu item. Um, what can we do now? Hmm. You know what? No. Bread. Asparagus. Hmm, that's not close enough. Let's see. You know what? Forget all of this. The final recipe is a cookie. With cheese? No, we have enough cheese. They're right. What about some shrooms? Alright, they don't like that either. What about another egg? And asparagus, and bourbon, and cookies, and more cookies, and more bread, and more mushrooms. This looks like garbage. Probably tastes like garbage too, but whatever. It's cool. One single slice of cheese. Folded at a 40 degree angle. And a balancing bourbon. With an egg. Oh, the egg fell. Hang on. You can't fall. Okay, what about the sausage? I could balance the sausage. Oh god, that looks wrong. <laughs> the teetering sausage. It bounces. It, 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 it. It teeters left and right with no clear path. Just like me. Dad wouldn't let me go to art school and now here I am with an accounting degree running a hipster cafe. Are you happy now? Dad. <laughs> Perfect. Do we need more coffee up in here? Maybe we do. Oh. Sorry, I, I have a second monitor set up now and I'm still figuring out how to use it. Where's my employee? Oh, is things paused? Okay, things are paused. I was like, there's a build up, buddy. Alright, and let's do some research too. Let's research a shovel. Uh, oh, okay. And a skateboard. <laughs> Wait, we can play things on a skateboard? I love it. Alright, and let's go on social media. I had to queue for ages in Strength and Wool. I'm gonna like that. I'm gonna like it. I'm not gonna fix anything. I'm gonna like it. What are the trends right now? Okay, for some reason that one is up. Um, let's see what they're tweeting about. Food addicts. Filling. Submit. Five dishes of healthy, easy breakfast food. I wouldn't say easy. You probably have really bad, like, bathroom stuff after eating the egg monstrosity. I don't have enough staff. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Belladonna Nightshade. <laughs> My name is Raven Darkness Dimension <laughs> Ravenway. Billington? Mm -hmm. A goth? Jesus, it's not 1997 anymore. Turn off the Tim Burton movies and grow up, you big movie baby. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll take you. Boone? Massive dork shouldn't be trusted with any more anything more complex than a mop in a bucket. He's got a Lenny from Mice and Men vibe. Keep him happy by promising access to rabbits. Don't let him near the farmer's wife. Oh, God! Okay. Aspiring musician? Never a good sign. Hey mate, time to accept that new metal is never coming back. Time to cut your hair and join the army. 
Hipster Cafe is proud to be sponsored by the Military Industrial Complex. Big old classy clumsy old mug muggins butterfingers, innocent of criminal negligence on technicality. This guy looks dodgy, but he only wants a job here so he could steal from the till or cash stash, as he keeps calling it. He looks like an undercover cop that's not doing a very jo a good job at it. Dr. Ed Fredison, definitely not a mad scientist, just a normal guy who was involved in a misunderstanding at the city morgue. Nothing was ever proven in a court of law. I'd say this even if he wasn't writing my prescriptions. FBI required notice. Winners don't do drugs. Hire. Hire that man right now. Alright, let's see. What else do we need? Not enough tills. Oh, okay, we need more registers. Oh, our new guys are T-posing over there. Let's get a new till. Hey, we have one of these in my job. Uh, and another chopping area would probably be good, too. Um, Alright, that's good enough for now. Is that helpful, everybody? Alright. How we doing? Why are you angry? You're, you're a brat. I just opened a second till. Calm down. How we doing? Nobody's using this table. I'm just gonna sell it. Alright, let's get more toilet tables. Obviously, like I thought, toilet tables are just the way to go. So we need more toilet tables up in here. There we go. This is such scattered placement. And one more toilet table. We need more entertainment. Why are you mad? Did you not like my coffee? I made it just for you. Oh, do some research. Unlock some darts. Unlock barbershop. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Um, research. Barbershop. Darts. Okay. We can only do one at a time, it seems. We'll start with darts. Research finished. No research being conducted. Um... Did they already do the barbershop, or did was that for something else? Was it for the bacon? Um, let's see. Entertainment, barbershop. Alright. Oh, yeah! Oh, nice. Alright, let's just do all the entertainment, then. Oh. Yes. Sounds good. Menu item. Hipsters are looking forward to more entertaining options at your cafe. Darts and barber shop. Okay, we're working on it. Oh man, I love seeing that cheese dish go out. Unfortunately, I don't think anyone is buying my egg dish. Maybe it's time for a new strategy. Time for a new meal, perhaps? I want to unlock more food options, though. Let's speed up time a bit. Okay, research is finished. So let's buy... What have we got first? We've got... The column, the milliners... Darts. Perfect. Right in front of the door, I'd say. And then the barbershop. Um, right, right, right back here, <laughs> perfect, all right, recent requests, we have a request, um, well, hang on, requests can wait, I want more food, we can get more cheese, or we can unlock more Ooh. It's an avocado! Thanks! Oh god! <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Um. Let's. Let's not. Let's not. Oh god, I'm running out of money. Um. Let's go with. Yeah. That sounds good. Alright, why are we being drained of money? Okay, no, we're making money again. All right, while we wait for the research to be done, okay, what's our what's our recent request? They want cheese? Not enough staff. Oh god, damn it. Um, on meds after an incident, but feeling much better now. 
They seem like a good employee, but they'll kiss everyone in the place, which sounds fun, but it's really just a response to their parents being distant. Famous wrestling star from the television. Why do they need a job here? Guess they blew all the money on something. Honestly, lovely person, total dumbass. Don't trust them to do anything more difficult than emptying the bins. Peace. Filthy wrench and have a shower. Alright, that's fine. I think that's good enough for now. Ooh, there's a hot topic trending. What do we got? I think it's really hashtag cool. Um, let's see. I don't really- I mean, I know we need to get more followers, but... What are you freaking out? Oh, art! We don't have any artistic stuff? Do we not? Do I- we do- we really don't? Hang on, that's some research that needs to be done. How do we get art stuff? Ball pit. Do we even have art stuff? I didn't realize that was a thing. Um... Oh, okay, boombox is artistic. Arcade machine. Okay, where's the arcade machine? Arcade, arcade, arcade. There we go. Yes. Get that research done. And while that's going on, let's get... Let's get another coffee. Bitter. Brightness. I'm gonna go for one that specifically appeals to the blondies. Okay, they didn't like that at all. Hmm, okay, they don't like that. N not really enthused by any of this. Oh, there we go. And they want a tree. Drawing mode. Um. Alright. Whoop. 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 A tree! Finalize coffee. Cough. Tree. Yo, yo, yo. Coffee with a tree. Trees have leaves. Like, so make like a tree and leaf my drawing skills out of this. Okay, there we go. Nice. All right. Research is going good. All right. Trailblazers? Oh, I guess that's what's trending right now. Trailblazers. Usually avoid snapbacks. Okay, that's gotta be it, right? Trailblazers. Submit. Oh, I need two. Okay, trailblazers, trailblazers. Important, okay. Not, oh, okay. Two different hashtags, okay. Um, let's go with, uh... Okay, trailblazers. Health, cool, cool. Climate, maybe? I've seen two climate ones. Climate. Alright. I don't know if that worked, but who cares? <laughs> Alright, oh, research is done. Okay. Let's go back to food. There we go. And let's buy that art thing. Arcade machine. Right across from the darts. Nice. Alright, do we have any new food? I'd like to make one more menu item. What have we got? Oh, we got a shovel! Yes! Oh, and we've got tomatoes. Okay. So first thing you do... For this ultra awesome recipe is you put tomatoes on the very edge. Okay, they want a mental. Okay, we don't have that. We need to research that. And then you put edamame on each one of the tomatoes. 
I know it doesn't make much sense right now, but this is actually a, a masterpiece. And then you put hot cross buns, hot cross buns on the side. See, it's a face. And then it's a nose. And then, did I chuck that? Oh, eh. put that over there. And then a mustache. I just figured out how to rotate things. There we go. Perfect. This, oh, neither of them like it. Hang on. All right, uh. Um, what do I do? Cancel, exit food maker, return to cafe. Keep making recipe, okay. All right, let's try this again. I think that was a winner, but apparently not. All right, let's try red eyes. The red eyes of rage with our beautiful nose. No, you know what? Anger. Anger. All right, what else will, what else do these guys like? There we go. And an asparagus for a mouth. More cheese. This is a beard, but it doesn't look like a very good beard. Needs to shave. There we go. And egg cheeks. Oh, they both like it. That's odd. Not used to that. All right. This is anger. <laughs> I am a shovel given life only for you to devour me without mercy. Why must I live through this? There we go. All right, I can't do the request just yet. But it's fine. Things are going pretty smoothly. Let's see what's going in research right now. Oh yeah. We need to get the Emmental next. So we'll do that. All right, Oktoberfest would like you to start to sell selling. Okay. Nice. Pilsner. Okay. A boo hiss, everyone is sick after drinking disgustingly strong beer. Oh no, that didn't go good. <laughs> Everyone's going back to do the barber shop. Why do you have a poop over your face? Oh, they like bacon. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go the rogue route. They're just gonna research everything. All right, now we'll make an a mental item like they want. On the shovel. A mental with edamame. And we don't have bacon, so. Perfect, that's it. Um, cheese and greens. And the description is, you got what you wanted, you greedy fucks. Foiks, <laughs> no fucks. There we go. Nice. Um, let me double, let me do something. I gotta double check something real quick. Just keep an eye on the time. Right. Yeah, we could play this for a little longer. Oh my. Why are you slamming on the keyboard like that? Maybe I should have more tables? Seems like something that I should probably do. Alright, one. We'll put tire chairs now. Why are you freaking out? Oh, they want more music. All right, let me see if I can do that for you. Do I have any music things? I have another DJ deck. No, don't give up, I brought some. All right, we need more arcade machines it seems. And another Amazon locker, maybe. There we go. 
Oh my goodness, okay. They want a lot of stuff. They want coffee. All right, what have we got? Latte. Oh, I need to research. Okay, hang on. Um, cancel adding, return to cafe without saving. We'll worry about that later. Oh, they're mad we don't have their coffee. That's not good. A new hot take? I don't care about it right now. Look at that, beautiful. All right, good thing. It looks like we're getting money. Oh, is that a car? It's a car! Oh, it just got ran over and disappeared. Violence. All right, let's see. How's everyone doing? Can I change the wall color? Red, red, red. Violent, obnoxious floor that's also red and red and red. Oh god, it's awful. That hurts my eyes. But it's beautiful. Our cafe is the blood of the normies. That's what we'll call it. Our walk was really cool. Let's see, health. Um, health, health. Beauty. Submit. I think that was working. There we go. How's the research going, guys? What's what's it look like? Research. Okay, we got through quite a bit. The only one we don't have right now is boiled egg. Um, which I think we'll move to that one. Let's do boiled egg real quick, and then we can go for drinks. Oh, I have not researched any drinks. Alright, let's wait for the research to be done and then we can go for- oh, there we go. Nice. Alright, what do we need? Ooh, okay. Let's do a new food item. Custard cream baked beans chicken filet. We don't have that. We do have baked beans. Plenty of them. All right. Kind of looks like vomit on a plate, honestly. Custard cream. Um. With a crumpet? No, they don't like that. Put it away. Get it away. Oh no, I think I accidentally opened Twitch. I did. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh, I'm over here now. Uh, there we go. Um, what else have we got? Ooh, everybody likes some blue cheese. That could bring up their anger at me, or lower it. Take some cheese. Eat it. Eat it. Eat the cheese and like me again. Eat the cheese. They both like asparagus. Take the asparagus. What else do you both like? Um, you both like tomatoes. There we go. Uh, and this is vomit on a plate. Honestly, I just tripped and dropped some shit on this plate, but then some dude ordered it, question mark. So I guess it's on the menu now. Perfect. Nice. And people also want the chicken, but I don't have the chicken just yet. How we looking business-wise? Should we get more staff? Ugh. OCD fuss pot. Put a spoon in the knife drawer. This girl's just pretending to work. She's a mime. Uh, that's a animal. Used to clean plates at Cereal Killer Cafe. Coolest bro. Ooh, total nerd. Bye. All right. We got more requests, but let's see. How's research going? Ooh, it's going pretty good. 
We have the latte now, so let's let's do that. Add that to our menu. Um, filter coffee. Let's go with where's the latte? Latte. They want sweet, dark, and slim. Oh, but they don't like it like that. Let's see if we can get it to ah. There we go. Or that's not sweet, that's bitter. I forgot. Okay. Draw a tree, draw a sun. I could do a sun. Let's get some speed. Ooh. Sun. It's a sun! That looks nothing like a sun. It looks like the earth with a meteor heading towards it, but whatever you say. Finalize coffee. Let's see. Um, Request. Y'all have garbage taste. There we go. What other requests did we have? I know there was another... Oh, no, wait. Uh, there was another one for coffee. Okay, it's all cappuccino. It's all this one. So they want bitter. Nightmare. Slim. There we go. Tree. We'll do another tree. Tree. Whoop. Whoop. No, it's not a sun. It's a tree this time. There we go. Finalize coffee. Fancy words. Fancy big words to impress people who think they're fancy. There is a difference. There we go. Um, any other requests? Oh, it's all just food now. Alright, let's see if we can make more food. I would like to see- Oh, look, they got the shovel one! The, the one that's just cheese and edamame. Oh, and they put it in their pocket, apparently. What else are y'all getting? Oh, I should probably make more stuff for our staff, huh? They don't really have a lot of room. Hackathon. Let's see if we can get more equipment for our staff real quick. Hot topic on tutor in a moment. All right, I'm gonna move the barber shop because it is actually in the way now. And let's see. Um, another chopping area. A soft drinks machine. Chopping area. No, come on. There we go. Um, and whatever this is. Why are they being so violent? You guys are annoying. Make my job hard. Alright, let's see. What are they freaking out about the most right now? What is it you want? More music? I can get another punch game. I don't think I have many muscle things. Oh, they want more music stuff. Here, another DJ deck. How about? Okay, and they want more newspaper. Here, I have an Amazon locker. Right in front of the barber shop. There we go. Nice. Let's get another arcade machine, too. Perfect. This cafe is... It, it's, it's, it's looking. I think that's about the nicest thing I could say about it. There we go. How we looking on time? Yeah, I think. Hmm. Let's see. Let me think. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Let's. I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I should do one more game or not. 
there was another showcase I had, but I was wondering if maybe I should do it as a video. When it, then that would be when it comes out on, um, that would be Friday's video, or I could do it now. One sec, let me, let me look at the game again, just to see. Hmm. Eh, why the fuck not? Let's do it. I'll play until around, um, seven, and then I gotta go make dinner and get ready for work tomorrow. So, let me switch games. And last but not least, Frog Gun is what we will be playing. I may have to set this up because I didn't know if I was going to play it tonight. So let me get that all set up. There we go. Oh, sorry, one sec. All right. All right. Frog Gun, our last game of the night. So let's play. Hi, I'm Renata. I always go on adventures with my parents. They're an archeologist and inventors. I love them. But in this expedition, they didn't want me to go in with them. They said it's dangerous. They told me to wait at camp, but it's been two days, and I'm tired of waiting all worried. I'll rescue them, and I'll prove I'm as good as them. Ooh. I'll save you, Mom and Dad. I mean, we don't even know if they're in danger, but let's do it. Ooh. Total progress. Let's do it. Oh, I love that design. It really is very nostalgic. Oh. Okay. All right, what? Oh. 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 Huh. Oh, that's really cool. All right, what is this about? Oh, be careful with these big flies. Try shooting me to them with B. Or jumping on their fat heads. <laughs> All right, can I jump on you? Oh, apparently not. Ooh. Hit. <laughs> Ooh. Ah! I did. Oh, I can turn the camera. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> All right. There we are. Let's see what else we could do over here. I like all these coins. And you have been banished. Goodbye. Why don't you try shooting at that wall over there? If you do, we can zip line towards it. Oh, okay. Uh, ooh, nice. All right, what have we got over here? Huh, huh. Banished. Ooh, we got a gem. Ooh, and we can jump back down here. Huh. Bam, 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 bam. I didn't even realize this was over here when I jumped last time. Oh, oh. Nice try. I know I could probably get coins from them if I don't do that, but. Ooh, what was that? Oh, and more. Sometimes you need to look at the ruins from a different perspective. Why not turn the camera with right stick? Oh, there's something over there. Oh, oh! Oh, I see. What have we got? Oh, that's a crumbly one. What do I press? Okay. There we go. I made it. Where am I now? Oh, I'm back over here. All right. I think we've thoroughly explored this area. All right, I need to be more careful when I'm doing that because I'm at one point I feel like I'm just gonna launch and then 
things are gonna be okay there we go and nice there we are hello uh, goodbye Ooh. oh this is fun all right what's this Ooh. Golly, I can barely believe how vast these ruins are. And to think it was only three months ago that my dear wife Lily heard first about them. Oh, well, we've only now signed the contract with the local government and started the investigation. And already found so many mysteries. Signed, Todd Hops. Is that our dad? Papa! I'm coming! Ooh! That was fun. Deaths, one. Obsidian Skull, yes. Emeralds, two. Coins, 110, 110. Ooh. Notes found. I'm trying to, f which one is, okay, continue. I think I clicked the right one. Nice. Ooh, Coin Collector, Treasure Hunter, Challenge Seeker. I got all of them. Total progress. Ooh, Historian, too. Oh, and we can move on to the next level. Yes. Did you know we could get even more treasure by finishing the area under a time limit or a single attempt? Sounds tough. Oh, definitely. Probably not gonna do it right now. There we go, got that. Up, up. We need to keep an eye out for secrets too. There are secrets all over the place in this one. So yeah, we, oh, oh yeah, back over here. I don't see any secret holes at the moment. Oh, I do see that over there. Okay, if that's the place, where's the hole? Keep an eye out. Search for it. Huh. Got the notes. Expedition diary, day one. Today my husband Todd has found the most exquisite piece of history. It is a grand slab of bronze in the shape of a common fly. How would our dear Renata like to be here? But we're parents over archeologists and the seedy reputation this place has means this is no place for her. We'll see her tomorrow when we get back to the base encampment. Signed, Lily Hops. Oh, well they definitely didn't get back. I know that for a fact, cause here I am looking for them. Maybe they are in danger. I know I was being a little stinker about it earlier, but still. Oh, dang it, I wanted to go up. Always be on the lookout for secrets. This place is sneaky. That's true. Pretty sure it's down here. Oh, yeah, there it is. First and foremost, let me grab this. Bounce up here. And I think this is a checkpoint. Okay, yeah, we, we, we need that. All right, down we go. Oh, hello, rat. Alright, we we wanna we wanna be ready. Haha! -ha! And uh. Alright, can you can you like not? Ugh. There we go. Uh. Ooh, that was close. Probably shouldn't have done that. Nice! And we've got our checkpoint still. Alright. Whoa. I'm here. Hello. All right, and we gotta get this too. If you have trouble nailing a tongue shot, try holding down X and Y. Oh, oh, I did not mean to do that. All right. Holding down X? Oh! I see. Alright, up, see Daisy. Alright, I want to get all the coins, of course, so we gotta go back and forth a little bit, and then on to the next zone. Hoot! Oh, that was dangerous. Thank you. At least I'm not alone, I've got my talking frog gun. Oh, and we got our bronze! Heck yeah! 
time. Dex, zero. Obsidian Skull, yes. Notes found. Nice. Ooh, Expedition Diary. We got that. Oh, who's that over there? There's a person. Twisty Bridge. Two notes in this one, it looks like. Ooh, I like the look of this zone. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Once again, almost yeeting myself into my own death. Flies. Mind if I just... Whoop. Alright, we definitely gotta keep an eye out for secrets now. Alright, and... Uh. There's a thing up there. All right, there's a lot around here. Oh, okay. Um, that's gonna be a little tough. Hmm... Oh, that block has handles. Why don't we pull from it? Oh, in just a sec, there's a blue coin down here. Get it? Uh, oh. Ooh. Nice. All right, checkpoint. Are you blocking me? Oh, okay, well, didn't work for you, did it? There we go. Nice. Alright, what do we do here? Let's see. No! Okay, I just fell. Alright, let's try that again. Oh! Ugh. I want that coin. There's some violent shaking going on over there. Oh, we gotta get that too. Can I... Oh, I see. That's how you get over here. Get all the coins. Beautiful. And then... Whee! Alright, back up. <laughs> eh. Need to get over there somehow. There's gotta be an entrance around here somewhere. We'll just have to keep an eye out. Can I just grab that? No, I can't. Nice. Alright, keeping an eye out for secrets. Hmm. Alright, maybe there's secrets over here. Let's see. Oh, there's definitely something over there. Alright, but we're gonna be we're gonna have to be fast. Oh, nice! Didn't think I was gonna get all of those at once. Huh! Nice. Alright, got all those. And what about up here? Eh. Nice. Get rid of you. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff up here. Hang on. I just need to make sure. You know, you never know when someone's gonna have coins on their body. Ooh, the notes! Let me get rid of the rats first so they can't kill me. Arr, the foul followers of that rotten deity will not be a match for my skills. I've ransacked land and sea without opposition, and this here temple won't be an exception. Signed, Flag C. Grand Duo Grandis Pirate Extraordinaire. I think that's how you say it. Probably not. There we go. Huh. Alright, let's get that flag. Oh, here it is. Into the the void we go. What's tick ticking? Oh, is it that? I think it might be that. Oh, I see. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Uh oh. And up. I think I may have missed the secret area. 
there's a good chance. Hmm. Or is there not a secret area? No, there's gotta be, right? I probably missed it. Hmm. Which is my bad. Alright, wait for it. Nice, though! We still got another one. Oh? Oh? Yes! We didn't get the obsidian skull, but that's okay. Ooh! And we didn't get all the notes, but it's fine. We can always go back for him. We've got water. Jumping on kiddie pools is okay. But watch out for deep waters. You're not a good swimmer. Oh, okay, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, coin. Alright. These green blocks are really suspicious. I'm sure there's a button that does something with them somewhere. Oh, I'm sure about that. The secret is tracking down the button. Was that a rock? Oh, okay. Oh, I think I see the button. It's very far away, though. Watch out! These boulders look dangerous! Where did they come from, anyway? Magic! Pardon me. <laughs> oh, I see something! Ah. Got it. Alright, let's see. Oh, I could have misjudged that jump so badly. Hmm. I don't know um, if I can make that. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna come back around. <gasps> ah! It's fine. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. There we go. Hoot. Close enough. Meow. Oh. I'm not a good jumper or a good swimmer. There we go. There we go, there we go. I don't- I'm not afraid of rocks. Rock me on my ass. Get up here somehow. Oh! So I can jump and hit things. Alright, I might be able to use it on there then. To get to the bouncy thing. Aha! I was unsure of how I was gonna do that otherwise. Boop, 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 boop. Oh no! I'm fine. Dang it. Floater. I got an achievement for that. Alright, let's try that again. I know now. Waterfalls are deadly. And you know what? I probably should have known that from the first time I saw Homeward Bound and watched Sassy fall down the waterfall and supposedly die. That movie was weird, but cool at the same time. I also remember Milo and Otis, if anyone remembers that one. They showed it to that us in elementary school, but there's like a scene where a cat genuinely gives birth, if I remember correctly. Well, it wasn't even uh, middle school, it was elementary school. I don't, I don't remember what I said, but I remember being a little kid and watching that and being like, oh, I still liked the movie. I was just a little confused about what was going on. Careful, careful, careful. Oh, wait a minute. I did not see that last time. Where did that go? Oh, it goes to the, the hole. Oh, that looks dangerous. Is there a checkpoint somewhere? Oh, it doesn't look like it. Should I come back? Is there a checkpoint anywhere? Oh, I do see one. Okay, hang on. I don't wanna have to redo everything again, so. Let's get that checkpoint and then we're
worry about... Oh, oh. Oh, oh, boulders. All right. Because I don't want to do that again for a third time. Or a fourth time? I don't remember. Run! And wait for it. Oh, oh, that was dangerous. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, we have a checkpoint. All right, now let's run back and do the uh, water level. That way we already have pretty much everything. All right, wait for it and... Right. Oh, careful. All right, now we just gotta wait. We're waiting for our taxi. Oh, I shouldn't do that. I'm gonna fall in the water again. I'm not the most graceful sometimes. And there we go. Beautiful. Ooh, look at those backgrounds. That's cool. It reminds me of the low floodless levels in Mario Sunshine. Do these sink after a while? Oh, they do. Oh, okay. Go, 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 go. Okay. Made it. Phew. Dang, I didn't even need the freaking checkpoint. I'm just that good. I'm still gonna grab the checkpoint again, though, because I'm paranoid. Hood. Hood. Yeah, yeah. All right, what have we got here? Those fungi look tasty. Can I lick them? Yes. Whoa! I fell. I didn't realize there was space in between them. All right. Hey. Hey is right. All right, let's see. There's two different spots we can go from here. Still need to figure out how to get over there. Don't know how. All right. Run! No! No! Dang it. Hey. Wee! Okay, boing. No! <laughs> Alright, wait. What do we gotta do on that side? Hmm. Maybe if I grab the thing? Uh. No! <laughs> Alright, I'm not sure about that one. We'll leave it alone for now. We can find a way back. Wait a minute. No! I had an idea. No! Well, definitely not getting the no deaths on this one. Aha! Aha! I did that one. Careful, careful, careful. Okay. There we go. Did that one. Right, new checkpoint, please. I tend to be dying a bit more now. Because I'm trying things. Oh my goodness. Boom. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, that's deep water. It's hashtag deep, bro. There we go. We've got notes. 
Expedition Diary Day 2. We split for a bit, and I found a strange area. At first, the sight of it looks like a series of stone canals to transport water from one tower to another. But soon I've noticed it's full of traps. Luckily, our latest invention has aided me well. The frog gun truly is our best tool in cases like this one. Signed, Lily Hops. Heck yeah. So the gun comes from Mama. Alright, hang on. We need to... Ah, I didn't even need to launch myself across. Oh, wait for it. Yeah, there we go. Hiya! Oh, okay. There we go. Wait for it. Hmm. No! Okay. Oh, whoa. Is this how I get down here? Alright, what's up there, though? Hmm. Okay, I shouldn't do that. Okay, wait. Oh, God. Alright, let me try. Ow! No! Okay, thank goodness I was at the checkpoint already. Yeah, we want to go back there. This way. Because we're going to miss this. I didn't see this before. Wait for it. Wait for it. Go! There we go. Nice! Alright, it looks like this water is safe. Pull from that box with my tongue. Doesn't look too heavy. Oh, so we can use this to reach the coins we can't get right now. Let's see. Alright. Pull. Nice. Alright. Now pull this way. Pull this way. And... Oh! Whoa. Oh, we're definitely doing a checkpoint before we do that. And up. And up. And... Huh. Up. There we go. And... We're gonna need to go back up. Grab that checkpoint just because I'm feeling a little nervous about the next area. There we go. Oh, goodness. Let's see what we can do here. Alright, wait for it. Good. Oh, no! How did I do that? I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm not gonna die via waterfall once more. Haha! -ha! My prediction was correct. Alright, let me just saunter across this. Oh! Oh, I almost jumped. different colors mean like different things like are they gonna be faster got that hello die I like those big ones how they kind of like try and block you like no 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 all right I know I missed some stuff but it's okay because we still got through most of it I'm proud of us <laughs> yeah, we did not do good. We got the obsidian skull, at least. And we found a note. Alright. Who are you? Total progress. Race on the top side. A race? How do you have a- That's a snake gun? It looks like one. Hmm. Oh. Oh! you come from? Hi, I'm Jake, and this is my friend and partner in crime, Snatch. What brings you to this batch of old bricks? I'm Renata, and this is Frog Gun. Nice to meet you, I guess. We're here to rescue my... For the treasure, of course. What else? Snatch looks so done with everything. She's just staring at the ground. That's not what I was about to say! 
Well, you're not gonna get that treasure. Not if I get it first. Let it be a race, frog girl. Oh! Oh god, I'm not good at races. Ow, ow, ow! Why'd you attack me? Oh! <laughs> okay, maybe he will win. I'm not the best with race levels. This may cripple my scores. If he would just let me talk. Alright, let's just get through this. And... Okay, uh, he already has a lead on us. He, he jumps higher, though, so that's kind of his weakness, it seems. No! He killed me! He's a murderer! He wants the treasure so bad he's willing to kill me. Or maybe it's like those- oh. He literally teleports out of the sky. What are you doing in the air? Alright. I think I just need to make a break for it. Ow! What if I- ow! No! I gotta do this. For my honor. For the honor of my parents, even though he doesn't know that my parents are captured because he's not listening to me. Alright, let's- let's go. Alright, I just need to, like, not run into you. Okay, that didn't work. All right, we'll try the normal way next time. Attempt number 57. This time, I will prevail. Maybe. I don't even know the other half of the course, so. Eh. Aha, I did a little switcheroo on ya. Oh. All right, we, we got a bit of a lead. I don't even know where we're supposed to go, though. Just that I have to go this way. Go! Who cares about coins? Just go! I don't even know where he is! All right, go. Break these before he can get over here. Run! Dude, I just want to rescue my parents. I don't want to deal with your friggin' race egotistical things. Oh, that was dangerous. That was risky of me to do. Okay. Eh. Jump. Ow. Oh, I'm dead meat if I miss another hit. Oh, who is that? There's a hat dude. Dang. You're good, frog girl. You can keep this one, but next time it's all gonna go my way. Oh, I won! Okay, so you just need to beat him a certain leg. Ho ho ho! These ruins are getting crowded as of late. Yeah, they're not- they're not very much ruins, are they? It seems like everybody's here. Hi, I'm Renata. Who are you? Of course, where are my manners? You can call me Hatter. I've been in these ruins for a long while, trading with travelers who pass by. Now, what brought you to this place, Renata? My parents are kidnapped. I'm looking for my parents. I think they're lost. They're archaeologists. That's a touching story. I did see a couple of archaeologists just the other day, coming in this direction. I'm sure you'll find them if you continue down this way. Thank you, sir. Good luck, and remember to visit me. I'm setting up a shop nearby, so we'll run into each other. Oh, can I buy hats? Nice! Oh, cool, so if you finish the race, you can still explore everywhere and get things back, it seems. Nice, I'll have to come back and grab stuff later. But let's see if we can check out this shop. I want to see it. Yeah, we didn't get much this time, but we did beat the- we, we won the race, and that's what's important to me. No, it's not found, I know. All right, where's this hat? Where's this hat guy? Oh, I see. Ooh, hats. Renata's hat. Locked. Ooh, we have different hats. Gallery. Bestiary. 
Flyboy, they're big and round and cute and mean. Their tiny wings are very strong because they can carry them around. Big fluffy rodents. I want to hug them, but they'll bite. I'm your friend, not kibble. Big boy, big and round, looks like a plum. Now I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. I need dinner. Looks like that's all we've got right now. We've also got medals. On foot racer, coin collector, survivalist, speedrunner, treasure hunter. We got a lot. There's a lot of stuff. Let's buy a hat. Ooh. Can we buy... Let's get a green one to match our frog boy. Ooh, what about this? Ooh, I like that. Ooh, we're T-posing a little. We're slipping and sliding. Nice. What's this? Prickly? Hmm. Seems like this is the end of this area, so let's try this out. Let's see what we got in here very quick. Oh, hello! He didn't even have a chance to finish his scream before I destroyed him. Oh, we got a, like a little bit of a maze going on here. I wonder what is... Oh! That's a lot of rocks! Maybe keep their rhythm and we won't get squashed. Yeah, kind of like just follow along. Is that an invisible block? This bouncy shroom will come in handy. Did you know you could bounce higher by holding A? Oh, I did not. Hmm, hang on. I want to see. Oh. I think that there's like a, a secret. Okay, no. No! Okay, no. I don't know how to get over there just yet. We'll save that for a later time. No! Never mind. Ah! It's hard adventuring through the ruins. My hat is beautiful, but it blocks my vision. Fashion requires sacrifices, though. Every good fashionista knows that. Especially hat guy. Did you see how big his hat is? All right. Oh, God! Run! Alright, let's go get that. Oh! Alright, yes, thank you for the advice again. Boing, boing. Hello. Whoa! Feel like making our own stairs. There we go. Like this. And then like this. Yes! A note! This morning, just as we were packing for our return, the biggest fly ever witnessed flew over our heads with a deafening buzz. Perhaps we should continue forward for a bit more, but I don't like leaving behind our sweet Renata for so long. Signed, Todd Hops. Don't worry, Dad, I'm coming. And I have cool hats. I spent 750 coins plus two others. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a boss battle! Another human? I'm tired of you puny-legged things. The master will scold me if I let a single one more go through. Prepare for a beatdown! Whoa! I can jump too! Look at this! I can jump too! Whoa! Oh, he's gonna land! Oh, I see! Huh. Yes! Come and get me! Come and get me! You're not gonna catch me! Oh, goodness, but those might. Okay, now he's throwing a bunch of stuff. Okay, where's the fly? No, the fly got killed by the boulder! Huh. Got him. Come and get me. Oh, you're, you're speeding up a little bit. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Ooh! He barely has a shadow anymore. Okay. Oh, fly! Land, punk! Boom! Oh, God! Run! 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 I have two chasing after me! Oh, he's dead! The fly is dead! Yeah! 
Got him! Heck yeah! Whew. Oh, but we got the emeralds. That's good. And we found the note. A whole area cleared. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, max health up. And then we have another one. Trap hall. Oh, how cool. Oh, I have enough for another hat. <laughs> oh, a Viking hat. Oh, man, if only I saved my hats. No, not my hats, my cash. Ooh, but that was a cool boss fight. All right, well, I think we are going to end it here for now. This has been a fun stream. It's been a little, uh, how would I say, disjointed? But that's because I wasn't really sure at all if I was going to stream today, you know? because of being busy and everything. But once I got into, when I actually managed to sit down and start streaming, it was a lot of fun. And I'm glad we played through all of these different games. They were all of last, and I will probably revisit most of them at some point. I do like Hipster Cafe. I like Gloomgrave. I like uh, Justice.exe. All of those are really fun. Uh, Justice.exe, I think, and Hipster Cafe are both ones that you probably need to sit down and play on their own for a while because they're like games with a lot of reading or a lot of waiting, you know, like tycoon games. Um, Gloomgrave is really fun, although I'm not the best at it. I feel like I need to practice more because it's a strategy game and like I said, I'm not the best at strategy games. Like if you watched my, if you watch my YouTube channel, you know I played Tile Finder a few days ago and that was really fun, but I died in like the final boss and I realized afterwards that there were totally ways I could have like actually um, won if I hadn't been reckless. So I think I need to learn to like wait and listen like Toph would say. Um, instead of just rushing headfirst into strategy games like that. And Frog Gun was just a good time. It, it brought me back to like all of the old games I used to play on the PlayStation. Like, And I've played a few of them on here too. Like the Toy Story 2 game on the PlayStation or the Lion King game on the PlayStation. Those are both really fun. And I had a lot of fun. So today was really nice. And I'm glad I got to stream. And tomorrow I'll be streaming too. Like I said, me and Ember will be playing either The Forest or Grounded depending on how we feel. But for now, I will bid you all adieu. Thanks again to IG Collective for the chance to showcase this game. Thank you guys very much for watching. Remember to take care of yourselves, and I will see you tomorrow.